Oh, are we? Dude, the, the thing didn't show up. <laughs> I don't have the Twitch bar at the moment. Woo! Alright, turn that down just a little bit. Dude, I'm surprised as F the Twitch bar is not there. Well, that's crazy. Um, anyways, regardless, let me go ahead and fix the headset. Just get a little test here. Oh, I know, I'm trying to, there we go. Okay, guys, testing, testing, one, two, three. Oh, let me do that again. Testing, testing, one, two, three. She looks like she's chilling. She's supposed to be hiding my makeup bag over there. All right, there we go. Let's fix the camera just a little bit. Actually, it's kind of. Well. All right, little G, lean that way a little bit. Cover up all that extra junk so it looks like we can maintain the illusion that everything's all nice and clean and tidy. Okay, good. All right, escapees. I'm sorry that I'm late today, guys. I know, my apologies. Happy Tuesday, though, everyone. Um, welcome to Tuesday's edition of the Soul Stream. The reason I'm late, you guys, is that I uh, went to Tightwad Tuesday, quote unquote Tightwad Tuesday. It is, uh, well, it's the day that uh, my local theater decides to sell, or they decide to lower admission prices. So instead of being like 11 bucks to get in, per person, it goes down to $5.50, so I was like, yeah, let's get in, you guys, and so I saw uh, Joker tonight, which is pretty cool. Alright, let me get my headset. I don't know, it's, it just seems a little bit funny right now. It's like I'm only getting sound to one ear. I'm gonna erase that really quick. That's weird. Okay, there, now I got sound of both sides, which is good. I know, I was only getting sound to my uh, right side of my hair, or right side of my hair, right side of my ear, and then my hair, or God, can't even talk right now. <laughs> my left side of the headset. Um, I couldn't hear a dang thing. Alrighty, you guys, late stream, store oh God, I can't even talk tonight. I was just hit the reset button. <laughs> Take, okay, anyways. Late stream, shorter stream starts right now. Twitch.tv slash soul escape, that's twitch.tv slash S-O-U-L underscore 3-S-C-4-P-3. Three, three. three hours to get off Groundbreaker, you guys, before it explodes. Uh, just kidding. But that's about as much time that um, I'll be here on the stream tonight. So we're on Xbox, level 10. <coughs> Hashtag, the outer worlds. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and tweet that out. Um, I'll get that out to Facebook as well. All right, just let that load up really quick. Cool. All right, control paste. Excellent. Jump over to Discord. Good. All right, we're live out on Discord. Jump back to chat over here. that down a little, little bit. Cool, you guys, I think we're ready. So yes, welcome to the Tuesday edition of the Soul Stream. Um, we are going to, what we're really gonna do, Groundbreaker's not gonna blow up, spoilers, no. Uh, what we're really gonna do is, I hope we're gonna get to that fence lady, so we have to visit the black market area, talk to Gladys, I think her name is, and then we have a little side quest where we gotta find this like cool science weapon. So we'll be doing that tonight, Escape Views. So I'm hoping what I really wanna do in those three hours is uh, get off and get up to the other part of the, or the other galaxy, no, not galaxy, the other planet, I'm assuming, that we're gonna be going to. That should be good. Hey, what's up, Bishop? Bishop, you're the first in the channel. First. Woo. Hey, welcome in. Oh, I'm doing good, thank you for asking. Movie was good. I definitely recommend The Joker. If uh, anybody hasn't seen it just yet, I do recommend um, checking it out. It's really good. It was sad. It was definitely sad. Uh, Joker, definitely a villain, you know, but 
don't know. It's, it's one of those movies that kind of makes you think as well, or made me think for sure. So I, I recommend it though, Bish, if you have time or um, especially if there's like a cheaper day to go to the movies. <laughs> That's what I did today. I'm like, man, I always, oh, I wanted to go see Joker like right away, right? And I always uh, kept skipping out on those Tuesdays I had forgotten. And today I remembered and I was like, hey, it'd be a good day. But since the movie's already been out uh, for a couple weeks, all those earlier times were gone. So the only options were 6.45, 9.45. I went for the 6.45 I did get back around 9.30 or so, you guys. But I was hungry, so I ate food and I watched the little TV. Hey, what's up, Dizzy? Good to see you, dude. Dizzy, welcome in. How are you doing today, Bishop? You at work right now, Bish? Are you traveling? You home? Yeah, good to see you, Diz. Welcome, dude. You are actually Dizzy. You're the second person in chat. <laughs> cool. Bishop was the first. Oh, okay, you're about to travel right now, so it's morning, huh? Yep. Because if it's about almost midnight here, it would be about almost 10, I believe. Cool. Hey, well, thank you for coming in, you guys. Bishop, a fellow caster. I know it's just kind of us right now, but <laughs> might as well throw it out, huh? Bishop, our fellow caster here on Twitch and YouTuber. Guys, feel, uh, feel free to check out his stream, his YouTube, his delicious videos, gaming videos. I had to make, I had to clarify there. And we also got Dizzy. I had to clarify that you weren't making uh, delicious food videos. Although that'd be awesome, you guys. I, uh, I've i gotten into, well, not all, all food reviews, not all of them, but I've gotten into a few of those food review type channels and stuff, just cause uh, a different streamer that I watch, he likes to watch those in the morning. He makes us all watch them with him. So I got into it too. I was like, yeah, I like these people. <laughs> but yeah, good to see you, Bishop Dizzy. What are you guys up to? Well, I know Bishop's getting ready for work, but Diz, what are you up to? Right? It would be cup of soup, boiling spaghetti over and over and over. <laughs> oh gosh. Alright, just uh, checking some stuff really quick. I'm also watching Man vs. Game. I know, it's like, Soul, get on your stream. Sorry. You know what, you guys? A little, just a quick little, uh, funny little update. Or not update, but a, uh, little side note or whatever uh yesterday man was talking about long hair and stuff and uh, or men with long hair or whatever and i just decided i don't know i just decided to type out uh men with long hair are sexy and I, you know just throwing that out there i didn't put no craigasm or anything and man i think he read it like he didn't read it out loud but he went mm, or something like that i don't know it made me laugh though you guys <laughs> and then i felt kind of like weird like oops i probably shouldn't have been that's like the first really lewd, lewd thing uh, that I've said in man's chat. Or the first use of the word sexy without the I or anything. You know, I actually spelled it out the right way. Like, oops! <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Oh, oh, oh. oh, you've been doing challenges and stuff? Nice. Oh god, what did you do as a challenge, Diz? Or like 24 hour streams and things like that? Don't tell me you did like a closet stream or anything prison type streams i've seen those on the just chatting channel <laughs> bishop would be making his food boiling over that would be the same over here though too bish that making popcorn all the stuff that doesn't smell too well popcorn smells delicious anytime i make some mom's like hey can i have some of that so i always make two now i learned yeah, he did. He did have some shoulder length hair. Not saying that short hair isn't cute, because it damn well is. <laughs> Dizzy long hair dudes, true, they are. They are they're very hot. Um, oh yeah, I was going to ask you, Bishop. Oh gosh, I know, I'm trying to think of what I was going to ask you, so I'm a little distracted. Uh, it's one of your comments. 
Oh man. I know I can't remember. Well, while I remember and while I look through my phone, I'm also gonna post the going live picture. <laughs> Might as well. Sorry if I look like a dork in that one. Oops. Oops. But yeah, good movie, you guys. If you ever are thinking about checking out the movie Joker, do it. It's with Joaquin Phoenix. It's good. Joaquin has a, he uses, yeah, he uses a lot of good acting skills there. Oh man, what was it, Bishop? I can't remember. It was something funny that we were talking about. Not the Godzilla tweet, no. <laughs> Although that was hilarious. Was it the one on Twitch? Let me see here. Oh yeah! The start of stream, end of stream. <laughs> That's hilarious too, Bishop. That chat ass man. Is this game worth buying? Man goes, I keep telling you guys, you don't have to make that choice. I don't know your financial situation. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> yeah, I think, wasn't man like, I think he's like low on mods right now. Miss Merc finally came in, but for a while there he had no moderator, so. And I know the feels too. I mean, love you moderators, but you know, I only got two. And so, well, I have three, but uh, one of them just kind of comes in close whatever. Uh, which is completely normal. I don't have any restrictions or. I, I mean, I don't, <clears throat> I don't have any expectations or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, you know, I know the feels when you don't have any mods in chat. And oh gosh, sometimes things get a little crazy and, um, you know, rules get broken. And you're like, oh, you get spoiled and all that. Hey, what's up, living? Ex-boyfriend had some long colored hair. Nice! Woo! Dude, that's pretty sick. Did he have crazy colored hair? Like different colors like you and I? <laughs> Does he even got long? Hey, I'm definitely eyeballing uh eyeballing Bishop. I'm eyeballing you guys. Or you two just living. <clears throat> but yeah, I've had my eye on Bishop as a mod for a while. He uh, hangs out, you know, kicks it with me for a bit. <clears throat> and as a moderator, I don't really, uh, you know, I don't put any pressure on you guys. Uh, it's completely volunteer stuff. <laughs> I just say, you know, if anybody's breaking the rules, hey, feel free to time them out for a bit. Go heavy on the hammer if you want. Well, within reason, I would say, you know, we don't want to time out our friends. Like remember, remember the chat cloud thing. Oh gosh, not chat cloud again. <laughs> Hi, Vault Dollar. How are you doing today? Did you uh, stream today, Vault? <clears throat> Man, I woke up late, you guys. Dang it. So I was a little bit bummed out about that. Bishop, I'll remember what I was thinking about. I just, hmm. I don't know what it is right now. But, anyways, we got the two pictures out for. Did I? Yeah, I did. We got the pictures out for uh, Instagram and all that. Hello, Orange Crush. Welcome to the stream. Oh, did you play this game too? Nice. How many? Does anybody know how many endings Outer World has? Without, you know, telling us the endings, of course, but just number wise. I'm curious. Like four, maybe, I'm guessing. Maybe even more. <laughs> Bishop, I'd have an axe, not a hammer. We carry swords here. Oops. Busted the wall. No, I'm kidding. No, you can have an axe and a hammer. Mine are just um, downstairs right now. Gosh dang it, there you go. My sheath. Excellent. That's just in case somebody breaks into my room. Whoa. Stressed out, man, I'm sorry about. No, I feel you when it's hard to stream when you're stressed, it is. Oh, thank you, Orange Crush. Hey, welcome in. New follower. Woo! Thank you for the follow. Yeah, we're just starting up too, you guys. So I just jumped on. Uh, I'm running a little bit late. I was at the theater. I went for Tight Wad Tuesday. And what that is, is instead of admissions being $11 per person, admissions are only 5 bucks. Well, $5.50. So, um, yeah, I got in. I was like, heck yeah, it's going to be a nice, cheap movie. <laughs> And uh, I mean, a nice, a good movie for cheap price. And sure enough, it was. And in fact, the damn popcorn was more expensive than the movie. So I was pretty upset. I smuggled in some juice, though. Uh, my own little Capri Sun pouches. 
I was like, yeah, don't let the man win. Get him over, get one over on the man. And by that, I mean, you know, the government or whatever. The rule, pa rule makers and stuff. That wasn't a feminist thing or nothing like that. <laughs> Gotta be all PC, right, everyone? Gotta make sure we don't offend anybody. I saw the Joker. Yep, the one with Joaquin Phoenix, the newest one that came out. It was good. Definitely recommend. It was without, you know, too much spoiler. It was basically... Oh, sorry. The controller turned off. I'm gonna sound like I'm underwater for a bit. Uh, without too many spoilers, Jer Joker was about... his life before you know he or his life up to the moment he started like creating uh, or not creating but committing crimes and villainry and things like that so it was just kind of you know the origin story for the joker it was good yeah i liked it too living dude maybe next week or so um we can talk about it in chat i mean you know it's still kind of fresh it has been out for a few weeks there might be some people that still want to see it so you know i don't want to like, hey, you remember that part when... Oh, you saw it too? Orange Crush? Nice. High five, you guys. I know, I was late on it. I did want to see it, you know, quite a few Tuesdays ago, but I kept forgetting. Or by the time I did check the clock, it was already time to stream and stuff, so I was like, whoops. I liked it, dude. Man, it made me sad. It did. He definitely was a villain at the end, but man, that right before and stuff like those that first criminal action you know I was like hey. <laughs> just you always bring in your own snacks yay I know right I'm not paying eight bucks for a soda exactly dude luckily our theater finally started offering the um, like free refills and stuff so right before I left I uh, went and I got another dump of popcorn Damn. It made a billion bucks? Dude, I didn't know that. That's crazy. Nim told me this earlier. You can see the shadow of the title letters on the ship. What? That's cool. Oh, yeah, I can. Yeah, you can right there. Yeah, that's true. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> if you look at the little shadow background, you can see it move over in the back of the ship, too. That's awesome. I know, right? Hey, that's true, living. At, at one point, I'll be honest, I felt bad for him, too, man. I'm like, oof. Yeah, right, there's no turning back from that. True that, Vault. <laughs> you don't eat or drink at the theater. You're like, I'm the perfect, uh, what do you call it? What do we call people that are at the theater that are just watching? Um, not customer, the atten attendee, perfect attendee. I don't know, you're the perfect viewer though. Just like sitting there quietly. Somebody made a weird laugh at the theater. Uh, when Joker was laughing, he was doing his little ha 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 You know, and uh, somebody back there too, uh, they laughed really loud. They're like ha 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 ha. I was like, whoa, looked back wasn't me, you guys, trust me. I was in the new nosebleed section. Believe it or not, a ton of people ended up going. So I'm like, oh man, well, I looked towards the front two rows and sure enough, you know, there's a lot of space, so I jumped on in there. Hey, what's up, Penguin? You're saving a good eight hours straight gameplay. Good to see you, Exotic, how are you doing? Welcome in. It's the Exotic one. What are you guys up to today? Do you stream this game, Exotic? Oh yeah, see it is true. And then sometimes you'll hear uh, people bring like, I don't know what they bring, chips or something, but you can hear like these, it's not candy wrappers or anything, but it's like <laughs> this big, like loud crunchy noise. You're like, I've heard stories. I don't know if it's true or not, but I've heard stories of families uh, sneaking in buckets of chicken from KFC <laughs> and eating them there. I'm like, what? Yeah, can you imagine, you guys? Like, 
taking a big ass purse, like shoving your bucket of KFC in there and just like ripping into it while the movie's going. All of a sudden you're just another person back there, patron or whatever back there is like, oh, I smell chicken. Better invite them over, man. It's messed up. No. <laughs> Thank you, new follower. Woo, welcome in. The fun over hype. We're about to start up too, you guys. Trust me. I'm just a, a little bit late here today. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's pretty extreme and anti-social. Stay away from me and my chicken. <sighs> back, back. Hello, Iron. Good to see you. Happy Tuesday. I do too, though. I definitely sneak in my own stuff. <laughs> yeah, moviegoers. Thank you, Vault. That, that works too. Moviegoers. Apparently someone cheered when he... Oh, when he killed somebody! Oh, God! And somebody got scared and left. Oh. <laughs> Dude, hey, that person's just, uh, they're trying to protect themselves. They must really love their life. <laughs> All of a sudden, somebody's cheering when they, when Joker kills a person. The other person's like, oh, fuck that, I'm leaving. <laughs> F that, man, that guy's cheering. Oh, hell no. Takes off swiftly. Hurry, he's gonna pull out something. Oh my goodness, Walt Dollar, see, he's got a story. My wife's friend in high school brought in a full pizza. <laughs> it happens. I have heard that story from a, well, it was a trusted source. <laughs> trusted, by the way. It's like soul, either you trust them. No, either you trust them or you trust them. Oh man, Orange Crusher, see that's what I'm kind of excited for. Like I already want to replay it. You know, th some of these big decisions that we made, especially like in the beginning with Edgewater and whatnot, uh, you know, going the other direction, whichever direction you happen to go, uh, to me seems really, really interesting. I'm like, dude, I want to see what happens if I, you know, choose the other side now. I know, right? That's what I was thinking, Lemon. I'm like, you have to have one of those like really big, huge bags and stuff and then you gotta not look we really weird or embarrassing with it too <laughs> oh that's really cool dude I, what that's amazing orange crush he says in my full theater they serve beer and wine they have a full kitchen that you can order from i think there's a theater in the city that i'm kind of close to it's about 30 35 minutes away uh in yakima they have a theater I'm not sure what it's called but it has like really nice uh like sofa type seating and yes you can order alcohol so you have to be 21 to be there and have your ID and all that and uh, you can order I think you can order food but I'm not sure if it's like a full kitchen I think it's just like regular measly food that you get at theaters like hot dogs nachos things like that nachos are good though they just don't give you enough especially for the price Oh, I know, right, Exotic? This music is good. Man, I feel you though, Livin. Like, I'll be honest, when that person laughed uh, in the theater, like the Joker, I'll, I'll be honest, I got a little bit scared. Not scared, but like, just weirded out a bit. I know, and see, that's kind of, that's not good. That means that, you know, all those mass shootings are affecting us, you guys. Mentally, we're all like, no. <gasps> Oh God, that person laughed. <gasps> you know, we're all jumpy and stuff. I am in Washington state, yes. Yeah, did you, you recognize Yakima? Yes. Have you ever heard a YouTube video of anybody from Washington, any Washingtonians out there? Um, well, those of you close to Yakima. I've seen so many YouTube videos on, uh, well, not so many, but there's, I've seen at least two or three YouTube videos where they're covering like some kind of creepy story from Yakima and the, you know, the YouTuber bless their hearts. They always say Yakima, Washington, or yeah, Yakima, Washington. It's just, it's Yakima. I'm like, no, it's Yakima. <laughs> Named after the Yakima tribe. Yakima, Washington. I'm like, it's not Yakima. Oh, nice. You live near Oma or Elma, excuse me. Now I'm saying stuff all wrong. Oh, that's cool. Fish says that there's a London brewery that does a drink called a Yakima Red Ale. 
I wonder, how do they say it, Bishop? Do they say Yakima too? Or is it Yakima? But that's really cool, you lived in Elna. And I'll be honest though, I've never heard of Oli or Oli. Uh, I'm in Grandview, so I'm in the southern eastern part of the state. So I'm right between Yakima and Tri-Cities. <laughs> as soon as I see one of those doors, right, dude? As soon as you see one of those doors next to the theater opening and stuff, you're like, oh, fudge, get out. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's all the person coming in to clean early. They're like, oh. Or you see him holding a big ass spoon. You're like, he's got a gun. Oh. Hey, what's up, Stardust? He says, should I get an Xbox One X? Or wait for the new Xbox? The whole I would say wait for the new one, Stardust. Well, it depends. I mean, are you playing a lot of, um, like, those heavy online games that need that extra computer brain power? If you do, then I would say, yeah, go for the... And if you have the extra, you know, money to spend, I'd say, hell yeah, go for the Xbox One X right now. And then, you know, get the new one next year, too. <laughs> But only if you have enough disposable income. Uh, if not, then I'd say, hey, save up for the new one coming up next year, which, you know, hopefully I'm going to have to start doing myself. I don't want to get caught, you know, late in the game. I still have the first uh, generation Xbox myself, so I'll feel you start us. It, it does get a little laggy, it does get a little slow, especially on uh, Fallout 76. And uh, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe if I had a faster Xbox, it might be able to play that game. Everybody's like, no, soul, it's just that that's just gotta fix it. I'm all making excuses. Maybe if I upgrade. No. Oh, it is Yakima. No, oh, you're good, Bishop. Hey, especially on the other side of the ocean. <laughs> uh, it's just a Washington thing here. Um, I just feel like, you know, we all say Yakima and then. Uh, some YouTubers here in the States because they don't have accents or anything. They're uh, they're regular American YouTubers who, you know, they haven't been to Washington, so they say Yakima, which is fine because, you know, I did it too when I went to California. I can't remember what the town was called, but I, I asked the guy uh, where I rented the camping space and stuff. I asked him, oh, is this? And I said the name of the town. It was, was kind of like a town like Elma or something, but it, they pronounced it differently. It had an O somewhere in there, and it was like Olima or something. And I was saying it completely wrong. Or maybe I was saying like Colima, and they said Colima. I don't know, something like that too. So I've done it before, you guys. It's just when we're unfamiliar with the areas and their little area vernacular and things like that. Oh, Olympia, Washington, duh! <laughs> That's our capital. I didn't even know that we nicknamed it that. <laughs> I've only went to, uh, I've been to Olympia one time, and that was on another cool road trip, so it was just a stop and go. Dude, beautiful city, though. Hey, what's up, you two? Hey, my dude, what's up, my guy? For the next consoles. Saving up for 4K TV, 4K streaming, ah! Be able to see all your favorite streamers' pores. What's up, Wicked Knight? How are you doing? Welcome in. Good to see you. Been a long time. No long time. Live in Kansas now? How many years did you live here in Washington? That's cool though, Orange Crush. Good to meet a fellow, at least former Washingtonian. I'm so I always like meeting, you know, fellow Pacific Northwest peeps. Uh, at least the ones that were, um, Granted, you know, Elma is... No, it's not too close to Seattle, is it? No, I'm not that close. But most people that I do meet from Washington are like from Seattle-ish area. I think I did meet somebody from Spokane one time. I'm like, oh, okay, the eastern part of the state. Yeah. Still northern part though. Oh, haven't been so hot. I feel you, dude. That was me last week, but I hope things start looking up. They start getting better, Wicked Night ever onward ever forward we just gotta keep going man and uh, it does i know it sounds stupid <laughs> to say but you know we gotta think positively and uh and it does it kind of helps you it kind of well it helps me a little bit to sometimes you know start thinking positive and even though you know i'm having a bad day sometimes you know i just kind of take a little time to myself and remember like hey 
you know, we still got many years to go and things will start looking up and we got to change or, you know, things will change. And little by little, if we can't make those like hardcore steps right away, little by little, just tiny changes will hopefully end up to a good, positive, bigger picture. And if not, well, what the fudge? No. <laughs> then it's time to fight. Ugh. Ugh, kick some ass. No. Kick life's ass. No. <laughs> Hello, Faded. Faded coming in while I'm like throwing down on my pillow over here. <laughs> what up, Faded Epitaph? Good to see you. How's it going in the view? Oh, God, I love this game. I love the atmosphere. Oh, it's amazing, dude. Um, I am stuck on the Groundbreaker right now, which is a space station. So I have not had too many battles. So I'm kind of battle hungry. We didn't fight at all, I don't think, last uh, stream. It was all mostly talking and grabbing stuff, getting two companions, Felix and Ellie. And that was about it. Finishing quests, but it was pretty much just talking and persuading people, lying, making sure that, you know, we picked the right decision. Met a girl who lived in Washington, fell in love, moved to be with her, spent an amazing three years with her. Didn't work out though, but you guys are still best. Oh, man. Well, I'm sorry it didn't work out, Orange, but it's good to, good to hear that you at least, you know, ended on good terms. It always sucks, you know, when the breakup isn't good or isn't, you know, a nice one. Which, ugh, what breakup is nice, right? None of them. <laughs> They're all, you know, somewhat sad. Well, the lesser ones are somewhat sad, but... Or the less sad ones are somewhat less sad, but some of them are, oh, God. Some breakups are... Very, very, very bad. Yeah, living legend needs bigger text. True, true. Some of this text is small in game. So that is how you went to Washington Orange Crush. That's interesting, though. That's cool. What's up, NHL? Good to see you. NHL cosplay. Yeah, let's get some butt kicking. Have I played Fallout? Oh, God. Oh, man. Wicked Knight. Uh, unpopular opinion. I do like Fallout 76 a lot. I know. But with that, I will say there's some brackets there. Um, it is very glitchy, but does, it does need to spend some more time fixing it. Uh, you know, there's definitely, it's a lot more empty story-wise than any of the previous Fallouts. So, you know, that's a little sad. The NPC things, you know, that, them not being there, that was sad too. And uh, the constant crashing, you know, all that glitchiness and stuff. Ugh. But I do have a good time with it. And I think it's just like what Harry said. For me, with Fallout 76, it's that solo uh, aspect of it. I know it's a multiplayer and an online game, but it's that solo stuff that it still has that really draws me back. And kind of like Dizzy, man, I'm, I'm addicted to the grind now. <laughs> I want to get to those higher levels just because I see everybody at like level, well, not everyone, but quite a few players at like level 200, 224, 250, 300, 304, you know, on and on and on. Uh, and I'm only level 125, so I, I keep going back to just fight enemies and stuff and sell items and uh, rake in the caps, get better items, sell my old ones that I'm not using. It's really cool. I like it, though. What about you, Wicked? You played it? Able to get 125. 125 what, Wick? But yeah, I, I agree with you. I think it's better now than it was at launch. Because when it first came out, it was, and it's already been a year and stuff, it was a lot worse. But then, oh god, with that oh, Fallout first, though, now that was a conundrum. That, I don't think, well, I have, I think it's worth it, but I would not pay for it just because I don't have that disposable income. Oh, okay, so it wasn't on good terms, but eventually, you know, kind of, you start talking again and, as a friend way. That's good, Orange. Oh, I'm sorry, though, that it was a not so good ending, though. <laughs> Texans don't say howdy, but most say y'all. Love y'all. Why did somebody come in saying howdy y'all? Yeah, we do the Ho Forest. Yes, our forest up here. It's really, really cool. Mm -hmm. I've been up to like Sn Snow Colony and Snow Colony Falls in their little forest area. Oh, beautiful, you guys. If you ever want to go hiking or anything, find different waterfalls up here too. 
Oh, got to 125. I'm sorry. I was just talking about levels, wasn't I? For some reason, I was still stuck on caps, like 125 caps. What? They were ripping you off if they only gave you that much. <laughs> Same. Level, I'm at level 125 as well. True, right, Dizzy? Fallout mode. <laughs> All right, Scabies, let's get the stream started because we have to talk. But yeah, it's good to see everybody. Welcome in. It's good to catch up, too. Oh, I know, getting all high as up, <laughs> going into nature. Dude, something crazy to try, I have not tried it yet, but something crazy to try would be going on some shrooms, maybe, going into the forest. Oh, that'd be scary though, too. Well, I'm thinking, I heard some scary stories about shrooms, but let me know. I'd be down to try just a little One day, maybe. Only because, you know, na uh, mushrooms are natural. They're not, you know, chemical type drugs or uh, What is this game? This one is The Outer Worlds. It is made by the company known as Obsidian, and Obsidian, creator of Fallout New Vegas. That's all the hype about it. This is on Xbox, yes. No, no PC. It is on PC, but I have not got one yet. Oh, I've heard of Salvia. Isn't Salvia kind of like really, really strong weed or something? Oh, nice, you too, my friend. Gave me Overwatch and some money. <laughs> and some money, hell yeah. So I've been grinding that. Nice. Yes, happy birthday again. But yeah, this is Outer Worlds. It's made by Obsidian. Uh, takes place in the space. In the space. In the universe. And uh, you, we've all gone off of Earth. I'm not sure. I haven't gotten to exactly what happened to Earth just yet. But we... Uh, Somehow we left Earth and now we were on Terra 2 for a little bit, which was like New Earth. Um, and the main story is you wake up, this dude, Dr. Wells, he wakes you up from your cryogenic slumber. And he says, hey, you're the person I, and I, you know, I chose to wake up. I ended up waking up and I need you to go and help me get more juice so I can wake all these other people up. So those are the other colonists, I guess, that were on this lovely big old ship with you. They were all in cryogenic sleep. And I guess we were only supposed to be in cryogenic sleep for like 70 years or so. And I might get this part wrong. I forgot the exact numbers. But we ended up sleeping for like many, many, many more years than that. Um, but that's the main part of the quest is right now we are trying to just get that juice to wake everybody up. And there's been, you know, obstacles in the way. Like we had no ship. We had to get the ship. Uh, or no, we had no power to the ship, so we had to do that. Then our ship got impounded at the next spot that we went to, so we had to unimpound it. And now we have to get this special key so that I can hop over. I can put it into my navigation file and hop on over to the next planet, I think. So hopefully that's what we're going to do today is get over to the next planet. I have to talk to a fence, so a black market dealer, in order to get that navigation key. Oh, it's a plant species. Oh, that's pretty cool with transient psychoactive properties. You can chew it. What? Or as the tea, I love tea. Oh, that's crazy. So you'd get little hallucinations, opioid like compounds that induce hallucinations. Obsidian did Knights of the Old Republic 2 and Dungeon Siege 3. Nice. Knights of the Old Republic 2, one of the best ever. So I've heard both of the Knights of Republic games. Yeah, so basically it's opium weed. Oh, what? I've never done drugs, but I want to smoke a cigar. Now I have to wait till I'm 21. Really? I didn't know they upped the age on cigarettes and cigars and stuff. Well, that's interesting. Same with vaping then? Because I know in Washington we're having that issue too with... Um, the underage kids, you know, taking up vaping and stuff, so we're under that weird prohibition as well. I don't vape, but um, I know Man vs. King, one of my favorite streamers, he does. He was in Colorado, and so he was also under that prohibition. He's like, no, my flavored vapes, uh. 
Chased by a oh my goodness. <laughs> Chased by a saber tooth around your partner. Oh, saber tooth bunny. Holy crap. Oh, that's amazing, Wicked Knight. Max caps on three characters. Oh, that's amazing, dude. Main holds 5k at any time. True. I have, um... Man, I wish I could get max caps to other characters. I just don't want to bother anybody. Be like, hey, can you be that friend that I'm gonna... You know, make wait around while I store my caps and stuff everywhere. <laughs> Dang, faded 14 when you had shoes. Holy snap. Was it scary? Holy snap, though. Or, yeah, the vape scene is true. We do have, you know, medical herb. I mean, not medical, recreational herb. That's the good part, though. I, I tend to think that Washington does make... Um, we make some pretty good decisions up here. <laughs> I'm like, we make good decisions. Well, at least, you know, with the weed and stuff, we were one of the first states that uh, legalized recreational. With the vaping though, that is sad. I know Dizzy does vape, so that's very important. True. So yes, with the vaping scene, we made a dumb decision. <laughs> I think California was the only one that uh, decided that it was still okay. So now they're the ones making big, big moves. Oh, and Oregon too. Oregon isn't, uh, they, they have nothing against vaping either. That's why man is moving to Vancouver, Washington, so he's going to be kind of right next to that Oregon border. Sweet bite in, go get his mango pods. Oh, lucky you, you have your dad to help you. Oh man, that's cool. See, I was one of these people, I'm not gonna lie you guys, I was one of these people who, uh, I wouldn't ask my nephew to trade with me on Pokemon, but I would have the two, um, like I'd have Pokemon Silver on, on the game, Game Boy Color I think it was. I'd have Pokemon Silver and Pokemon gold I think or crystal and I wouldn't ask my nephew he also had the game too but I wouldn't every now and then I would trade with him but more importantly I would ask him hey can I borrow your game boy color because I'm going to trade with myself <laughs> to hatch these eggs and I would trade I'd link up the two game boys and I'd just be trading junk to myself and stuff. So I've done that on ESO I have my own pack wheel characters too but yeah I was one of those people that would link up with themselves I know, right, you two? Just a quick little puff of smoke right there. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. He was being chased by dinosaurs. Oregon. Yeah, some people say Oregon. And those people are psychopaths. <laughs> orange. Oh my goodness, how do you say orange, though? Don't some people say orange? Hello, orange. How are you doing today? <laughs> oh my goodness, Oregon. But yeah, I do know people who say Oregon. Uh, one of my old coworkers in my middle school, she used to say Washington because I think she was from, gosh, was it New Jersey or? Oh, where was she from? It was one of Illinois, she's from Illinois because my other, other coworker, after that first coworker would say Washington, my other coworker would say Illinois. You know how Illinois is Illinois. S is silent. Well, she would say Illinois. And uh, <laughs> and my coworker from Illinois would be like, oh, there is no S at the end. And uh, my other coworker Heather, she'd be like, well, there's no R in Washington. <laughs> They'd be all arguing. From Philly, lived in New Jersey. Nice. Joyce the accent. My aunt is from Oregon, and I can confirm it's pronounced Oregon. That's what I say, too. I'm from Washington, though, but most of us up here, we say Oregon. <laughs> or range. Or range! Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, yeah, water. May I have a glass of water? Water, please. <laughs> Instead of water. May I have a glass of water? Water. Stream starting officially. Let's see how long we talked. <laughs> it's always a good time there. 40 minutes. Woo! At least it wasn't an hour, huh? Stream starting officially in five, 
four, three, two, one. Welcome. And happy Tuesday. It's still Tuesday. Nope. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day, everybody. Uh, but yeah, I was a little bit late today, Escapee, so this will probably be about a three-hour cast. I'll probably jump off around 3 a.m. Bang, bang. Water. Yay, happy Wednesday. <laughs> we got high from talking about drugs. <laughs> Are we high? We're all contact high now because we were just talking about it. Oh man, you guys, we're all baked. Baked by association. Dude, I do that too, Wicked Knight. Hey, high five. Yeah, I have the vending life as well over in Fallout 76. It's, it's pretty good, isn't it? Do you sell like your materials? I bulk up all my crap and whatever, like all of the steel, wood, uh, ceramic, concrete, co uh, copper, cork, anything that can be bulked up, plastic in that game. I bulk it up and I sell it for about 30 to 40 caps, depending on, you know, how many pieces are in there. Because I always, I'm like, hmm, I could sell this for cheaper, but technically I did have to go into that building and slay some of those creatures. Mark it up a few caps. This one's selling for 30. But yeah, I do the same, Wicked Knight. Thank you, Orange Crush. Hey, oh, I'm sorry we didn't get to any gameplay. Man, now I feel like a bum. It's good to see you, though, and thank you for the follow. Good to meet you, I should say. Oh my goodness, definitely. But yeah, that's pretty much me too, Wicked. Yes! Mm-hmm, I also sell assault Ooh, rifle ammo. Like getting into trouble. That, and I used to make good on five millimeter ammo, but nowadays, hardly any, any of the uh, five millimeter ammo is selling. But yeah, a lot of my assault rifle ammunition tends to sell really quickly. Um, a lot of steel, bulk steel, bulk plastic. Plastic goes like that really, really quick. I know where to farm it. Watoga High School. Um, I farm a ton of plastic, so sometimes I sell it. and I'll, Or I'll bulk it up and I'll sell it for 30 caps a pop. And people will buy the whole thing, like one shebang. So if I have five plastics out there, I'm selling it for 30 caps. That's 150 right off the bat. Plus, they usually buy some steel or some wood, things like that, so that's like an easy 500 caps right at the end. <laughs> I'm all like smiling, getting all into it. Yes, caps. <laughs> caps. Yeah, I even had, since, you know, I don't have those pack mule characters, I had the issue or the problem of uh, one night somebody went ham and bought a whole bunch of my armor that I was selling, armor and weapons, and Dude, they kept buying stuff, and all of a sudden, I was up to like 29,000 caps. I'm like, no, 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 they better stop buying stuff. <laughs> I know, right? A vendor saying, stop buying. Well, sure enough, they bought one of my, I think it was a chameleon arm, scout arm or something like that, which I had for about 1,200 or 300. And yeah, sure enough, I hit the caps limit, so I lost out on about 300 caps. I was like, no. But right then and there, I was like, oh man. And luckily enough, he stopped buying. I was like, no, 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 I hope he doesn't buy anything else. Please don't let him buy anything else, please don't. And um, right after that, I made sure, you know, he left and stuff because he did. And I pulled out all of my weapons just for a little bit. Because, you know, I had to go and buy it. I had to do some shopping after that. I had to go start spending caps. <laughs> Even though I didn't want to, I had to buy a couple of weird weapons that I saw for sale. So now I have like an explosive pistol. And uh, an explosive shotgun. I'm like, oh, which is not too bad. I kind of want to mod out that shotgun a little bit. Now that I think about it. Okay, so let me see here. Yeah, for those Gatling, I need the Gatling people to come visit my camp again. Sub emotes. The sub emotes are. Yeah, <laughs> even I'm going over there. <laughs> to look at them. We got Soulless Hype, Soulless Rip, Soulless Gem, Soulless Love, Soulless G. Those are the, the emotes for the channel right there. Yay! At tier 2, you get Soulless Lull, back when I had blue hair. And tier 3 is Soulless Heart. 
Ooh, fancy. Don't you want that soulless heart? I'm kidding. It's just soulless love, but a different color. Just choose the tier one escapees. But yeah, those are the ones right there. Oh, thank you, Iron. Iron actually put them up there first. Whoops. Yep, they are, they are. I even went into the tier two and tier three as well. <laughs> oh, man. We're both all really, really um, detailed on answering questions. One and two and three. How does one get tier three? Oh, you don't want to know, YouTube. No, um, honestly, and I'll, I'm going to be 100% honest, tier three on any stream isn't really worth it in my opinion because the only thing you get is just one extra emote it's it is nice if you like to like you know donate to your favorite streamers and stuff that's really cool that's a good option that you get uh, for you know those people that really like to donate to uh, those favorite big casters and stuff but just you know for run in the mill it's like 24.99 and you only get that one extra emote or two maybe right you get tier two and tier three so you get those two extra emotes, but for 24 bucks, nah. You get all the first five for just 4.99 or something, right? Okay, I'm just looking. Wait, those aren't stolen? Nope, it says pick up. If it doesn't say steal, then it's not stealing. It's not stealing if it doesn't say stolen. In fact, I don't even know where I went up. I just kind of like walked up a random ladder. Now all of a sudden we're all here. <laughs> Orange Crush! Oh, Hawk now, what do I hear? Orange Crush ascending in the stream. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate that. Thank you, Orange. New sub hype. For the one, the only, Orange. Welcome in, dude. Thank you, Orange. That's crazy. Yeah, th tier three is 25 bucks a month. And I, I hate, you know, I don't want to be mean or rude or anything. I hate saying it, but... In my opinion, I don't think it's worth it. Just for the two emotes and then everything else is the same. They got to give those tier threes a little bit more. Damn. Hey, well, if anybody ever picks up in Fallout 76, uh, like an explosive handmade or something that you don't want, <laughs> and you're willing to sell for, you know, maybe like 10,000 caps, uh, maybe, I guess my limit would be like about... Maybe 20,000 caps, because man, that's, it's hard to make those caps back sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, if you ever want to sell like an explosive handmade, uh, that's anybody out there, let me know. Let me know. In particular, if it's even better and you still want to sell it for cheap, no. <laughs> oh my goodness, thank you, new follower. Woo! Welcome in. Sorry, I'm just talking a little bit of Fallout 76 weapons here. Dude, they have some damn good ones. I have a two-shot, like Dizzy was saying, he's like, two-shot, everything is broken. Um, true with this one weapon I have. I have a two-shot sniper rifle, and uh, I think it's a sniper combat, 50 caliber combat rifle. And dude, it does a lot of damage, especially when you get into that sneak mode <laughs> from far away. I like, oh, I have a behemoth next to my uh, camp area. He's just, he respawns every, every single time there. And uh, so I go and battle him almost, you know, once a day or whatever. And I will use and I'll choose my weapons and I'll practice target hit him and stuff. But so far, that two-shot sniper rifle, that's the one that'll get him into. And I'm, I'm a weak character. So for me, you know, it's really cool when I get him into that 300 uh, to 350 damage range. I'm like, because yeah. I don't do bloodied mode. I wish I did. That would be amazing. Um, but my character, I didn't, Anyone got I didn't even plan ahead for that, so she's kind of just everywhere with her perks and stuff. Oh, that'd be nice. I know, right? Wish I was on PS4. Could trade weapons or shop at each other's vendors. Aw, thank you, Orange. You don't watch Netflix anymore? No. Got Hulu for free, though. Aw, well, thank you, Orange. I appreciate that. <laughs> Noise, says YouTube. Thank you for the sub. Oh, okay, just scrolling up really quick. Alright, making sure I didn't miss anything. So, I kind of crawled up here. I think this must be just another, like, residential area, huh? 
Well, the unlock, I'm assuming, on the terminal means that it's unlocked. <laughs> so I'm assuming that means it's okay to, you know, spy. We got some pay-to-view movies, pay-to-view serials, which I think is what they they call soap operas and stuff. Guest messages. Maybe on maybe I'm on top of the hotel area. We could see what the guests are saying about this place. <laughs> I wonder if I'll get in trouble. Oh, well we did it. From Veritas. Very, very toss. Subject is be careful. To the ice man. One of you bees squealers, which I'm assuming is Ulam. What was his name? Ulam Bernard or something. That one dude that we met over at the Halcyon headquarters. Anyways, one of you bees squealers came asking for you. Wanted to know what you like to drink, who you talk to, what's your temperament like. Try to pay me off. I took the bits and told her a pack of lies. Watch your back when you get in. Don't want to find you in the waste disposal. <laughs> in the waste disposal shoot. Hmm. I see. Okay, so another message to Iceman here. Wait, did I do that backwards? Oh, yeah, I didn't get the first one. Sorry, you guys. Let me do the first one. Stop looking or else. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so we go there. Yeah, yeah, let's go first. Oh, no. I think I messed it up, you guys. Well, that's what I get. Oh, I messed up the messages from the Iceman. Damn it. It's because when I clicked one, like all, a whole bunch of different options popped up. So I was like, wait, did I mess up these options? Well, I did now. Anyways, let's get to this one. Somebody named Rizzo to McRed G. Please stop. Mir Dear Mr. McRed, we've reviewed your proposal for the 10th time and still do not agree that galactic mushroom is an acceptable, <laughs> an acceptable flavor for a Rizzo beverage. Even if we were to pursue the idea the samples you sent us were dangerously hallucinogenic. The open package, the unopened package alone caused mayhem in our receiving bay. Please do not reach out to us again. <laughs> so speaking of shrooms, this person over here, uh, Mr. McRed, which I think was, isn't he's that crazy guy, the leader of the like rebel gang that lives underneath the groundbreaker area, um, or the space station that we're at. If you guys remember Titanic in the boiler rooms, you remember how they had a crew? Well, that's what this gang is kind of like. They're living like in the boiler room part of the uh, space station. So down where the radiators and all that heating stuff is it is that. And uh, so McRed, he's the leader of that gang down there. And I guess he was dabbling in shrooms or something. Apparently he wanted to uh, <laughs> work with the um, Rizzo beverage people. But he caused them to be... Uh, he caused them to become under the influence of those hallucinogens. Wah, wah. Well, that's sad. See, I do the same Wicked Night. I sell, or I save a lot of the good stuff, too. I kind of want a low-key. I want a low-key, see if I can get those back. Darn. I know, now we'll never know what happened to the Iceman. All right, so let's see here, rest and go terminal. So this is part of the rest and go, the hotel motel area. Pay to view is restricted to diamond level guests, but feel free, feel free to peruse our catalog. Entertainment cartridges are available for rent at the main desk. There are currently zero, zero cartridges. Everybody rented them all out. <laughs> it's like, oh, hey, well, you can't, you can't afford this. You're not diamond level, you're coal, coal level down there. Sorry, coal level. You you can have the magazine rack in the restroom. How about that? <laughs> well, apparently we had my big candid friend and Nanner Spank 7. Woo! Nanner Spank 7, you guys. Woo! Yeehaw! Holy snap. <laughs> I want to watch me some Nanner Spank. 
Have a good one, you too. We'll see you next time, dude. Peace. Much love. And you too, Orange Crush. Hey, you too. Have a good rest of your night. No, I missed you up there. Bye, Orange. Oh, yeah, I remember that beer update too, you too. The uh, Nuka Cola. Whatchamacallit's Nuka Cola Vintage. Nuka Vintage, I think. Nuka Vintage bar. Hell yeah, Nanner Spank. Ooh, we get to see all the naughty stuff on this list. <laughs> Primal Affections. Ooh. Let's see the synopsis. This is like finding an issue of the lusty, uh, what's it called? Lusty Argonian Maid. I almost said the Lusty Bard. Shh. <laughs> He's a streamer here. Uh, lusty Argonian Maid. Here's the synopsis. Raised by wilderness primals, one man will lead the jungle he knows to explore the one he doesn't, Keystone. He came for Nanner Spank, but he stayed for the love. Can a young corporate executive call her this creature, or will she awaken the beast within? Rated Paxinus for passion, anthropoid, and consensual Nanner Spanking. Psh, psh, psh. Nanner. Wait, what is a nanner? I'm thinking a nanner is like a nan, right? Like a grandma. But now I'm thinking like, whoa, nanner spanking. That could be like a banana, banana. <laughs> uh oh, that might be a little bit more lewd than I thought. Uh, okay, so my big canid friend. Synopsis. A lab-grown giant canid grows on an adorable... Sorry, you guys, I was saying that wrong. It is canid. A lab-grown giant canid goes on an adorable rampage, leading a family of scientists on a wild chase across Emerald Vale. Spending the holiday away from home proves to be a chore, but the family soon realizes that the true friends are the monsters you meet along the way. Rated FSR 11 for fun times, simulated rampage, and body count 11. Blood, blood, blood. <laughs> Reminds you of the theater and all those, uh, what you call it? Uh, the trailers that you have to sit through and endure. What's up, Nutcase? Welcome in. Hey, good to see you. I've been good. Thank you for asking. Last week, not so much, but hey, what can you do? Sometimes people get stressed. But uh, good to see you, Nutcase. Welcome, welcome. Here, take some extra soul gems, you guys, because I've been uh, forgetting. Sorry. A little bit of a later stream, too, so I'm only be on for about three to four hours today. Um, but we still have time. We've got about three hours left. Or Two and a half, I say. All right, so that was that terminal. I went and messed it up a little bit. Ooh, toss ball cards. We're just like going through this guy's personal stuff over here. <laughs> Here's Felix. He was our new companion that we met yesterday. And Ellie, same. We got her yesterday. Well, we met her last week on episode four, I believe. And uh, we got Felix. We actually met Felix on episode four too. But they ended up joining us yesterday on episode 5. <laughs> Stream number 5. Day 5, I guess. We're on day 6 today. Alright, so that was the top of the rest and go. But where I really need to go is... This check is that. Or wait, oops, sorry. Just pressing B to open my pit boy I don't have one of those. Okay, so I do want to do the weapons quest. We have, we have the weapons quest and we have the main quest, which is getting that navigation key from the fence. So let me get this science weapon. Okay, so we got to go to Gladys's apartment anyways. All right, so let's go onward to Gladys's shop. Gladys? I hope Gladys is a really old lady. <laughs> a little old granny in her wheelchair right there. You're just chilling and stuff? You playing any games, Nut? Uh oh. There we go. There's Gladys. I know, I'm like, wait. Why is it pointing me that way? So I'm not, I'm actually not sure how to get to Gladys' little station. I'm assuming maybe, maybe that's why I came into here. But, uh, this is not the right area. <laughs> Oops. I know, and I'm going to complain about it again. I do. It's a little sad that we can't go third person. This game would have been perfect with 
third person as well. Nothing wrong with first, you know, first, you know, really gets you involved in the game and stuff, but I just like having third person so I can like look around everywhere. Not have my character look all crazy. Alright, let's try this side door. Yeah, I think this way. Oh, okay, see, maybe I was looking. Oh, I was looking for Gladys then, huh? Yes, hello? Is that you? What's up? Did you forget stuff? Oh, okay. Yes, you may come in. Alright, there's Gladys, you guys. And she's blonde. Oh, oh, is she elder, though? Is she even a she? Okay. <laughs> I can't tell. Well, okay, now I can. Long hair. Oh, sorry, Gladys. I didn't mean to pull out the sword on you right there. Whoopsie. Is that my sword, or am I just happy to see you? <laughs> All right, so let me see. First, though, I want to check out... I think I have to check out, like, her terminal or something. Let me just check. Another of Hawthorne's... I'm looking at the bottom middle section right there. Another of Hawthorne's logs mentioned looking in Gladys's shop for old records. Apparently, the smuggle acquired... Several leads that way. All right, so we might have to talk to her first and then go through her stuff, maybe. Yes, yeah, I'm pretty sure she's gonna be mad if I start lockpicking her safe <laughs> while her and her bodyguards are around here. Hello, Gladys. Hello. Bless my heart. Oh, I should have saved it. A stranger it. come knocking on a poor old woman's door. <laughs> poor old here woman. For a particular reason. I Did guess we kind of called it, yeah. How good my sugar cookies are. No wheelchair, though. Made without a single natural ingredient. Or oh, sugar oven, cookies. Just like store-bought. <laughs> Made without a single natural ingredient. Oh, thank God. Ugh, I hate those natural ingredients. All them damn leaves. Ugh. Um, so Phineas did send us. He said that we could get that navigation key, but... I want to see... I guess that's the only option we had, so. All right, Phineas sent me. We need a nav key to get out of here. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Oh, Lucky then uh, us, someone who is and I wants that key. We're outside of the board's control, for the time being at least. Now, I only have the one nav key, and they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. Oh, God. If you find yourself the lacking lady. in the gifts, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested in. Oh, well, it's better than spending the, the bits here. A thousand, oh, 10,000 bits, my heart. <laughs> I'll take the nav key. No, no, no. Uh, what's this uh, opportunity? And a discount. Ooh. <laughs> no one's ever found my bits lacking. Oh, is that sexual innuendo? <gasps> I'm going to go ahead and say it. You've certainly been blessed with an abundance of sass, haven't you? But it's your interstellar currency I'm interested in, not your nethers. Darn it, can't pay with our nethers this time. What are they useful for then? <laughs> okay, I'll ask for this discount. Phineas, that old kook. He was quite the dancer back in his prime. Did he tell oh. you? Real light on his feet. Real light in the wallet, too. Oh. He still owes me a small fortune. Oops. Laws. Maybe I should charge you double. No, I, I don't even know who the guy is. Who, Wells? I, I meant Smells, Dr. Smells. Well, All right, let's talk I about find I'm a ship captain with a little moral flexibility. Might be this could help out. I got plenty of moral flexibility. As well as bits. But if you've got qualms. Small qualms? What's the qualms? Do you know Edna over in engineering? Sweet as a pea, that uh... one. On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost called Roseway. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Hmm. So they got a signal from an abandoned spot. Why was I'm in, dude? I am in. But why was it abandoned, though? I'm curious. I'd say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Hmm. Wonder what kind of haul they left behind. 
Right, Ellie? An abandoned outpost. You think Felix! It's oh, goodness. Those corpses are cleverer than all that. <laughs> Felix thinking about ghosts. I hope it's not haunted, though. Keep the oh, rest no. Of the board from sniffing around. They went to fight ghosts in this game. Oof. All right, I'm in. I'll You've go do it. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Here's a copy of the SOS recording, complete with the coordinates. If you should find a secret, so gotta go on a mission for her before we be can get the nav life. key. I knew it. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. The more right. we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. Okay, Gladys. Abandoned outpost, corporate. Oh, wait, abandoned outpost, corporate secrets. Got it. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. <laughs> you better make me some cookies, Granny. By the way, let's see what she has. Want a charming copper kettle off that girl who runs the pub? She's a fierce arm wrestler, but she's no match for your pal Gladys. Gladys! She arm wrestled the bar lady. My goodness. Salvager's helper. That's actually kind of cool. 480 damage per second. What is this? A handgun? Oh, I'm more. My character's more into like the heavy weaponry. At least that's what I put more points into. So and now I'm stuck with it. Battered Marday data pad. I think maybe if we couldn't find one on our own. There's like five data pads around though. Buy one for bits. <laughs> Hephaestus mining archive cartridge. Ooh, interesting. She does have some weird stuff. I wonder what that mining cartridge does. It can be viewed. I'm gonna buy this, you guys. This data cartridge contains the public records records of Hephaestus mining outpost on Scylla. It can be viewed using the captain's terminal on the unreliable, so on our spaceship. Oh, hey, Chief, thank you for the biddies, dude. Chief Nike, what up, Chief? Happiest of. Wednesdays and thank you for the bitters. Biddies love. Biddies hype for the Nikes. Good to see you. How are you doing? I'm getting some lore in today, escapees. Thank you for coming in. You guys rock. Oops. <laughs> I'm like, please don't close out that tab. Heaven forbid, then we gotta refresh the whole thing. All right, hold on, Escapey. Speaking of refreshing, though, I ended up doing just that. Okay, there we go. Nice. How is how is the game going? Pretty good. Um, we are well. We're finally talking to that fence, the black market lady, and she wasn't very hidden. <laughs> well, she was. She kind of has the shop like on the side, but um, yeah, she was pretty easy to find. So I'm just kind of wheeling and dealing with her so that we can get off this planet or this space station and go to a different planet continue the game i'm doing good though chief how about you hopefully good uh earlier i went to go see joker so that was cool i do recommend it if you haven't seen joker just yet uh it made me sad made me feel bad for a bit but yeah you know without you know too many spoilers and stuff joker definitely is a villain we can't forget that all right, let's see here. So I can use this and I can view it. I'm thinking that this might unlock like a location to a spot where we can go and, you know, see if these miners left any loot. But let me read that little gray writing right there. It says, like accounting figures, most companies keep two sets of data records, public and private. Wildcat miners often purchase the public ref records of failed mining outposts hoping to uncover details on remaining ore veins that are too small for a corporation to consider profitable. So I'm guessing if we go, we'd find some ore. Maybe we need ore. I'm taking it though. Ooh, purple berry candy, yum. Yeah, waiting on the truck. Oh, how many, like how long has it been, Chief? Sorry if you already answered that yesterday. It's been like weeks already or? Just a few days, I hope. We got Mr. Power Mod. She's got some scanners. She's got a couple lock picks here. Some armor parts, weapon parts. I haven't. You know what? I well, we didn't get into too many battles, but I have not upgraded my stuff in a bit, actually. And then it looks like she's got just regular food and the injectables. Hey, welcome up, Bish. Welcome up. Welcome back. <laughs> welcome up. 
Oh, good to see you again, Bishop. Don't worry, you haven't missed much. We're just meeting the fence lady. She said, well, I can sell you this uh, nav key, which is what we need to, you know, redirect our navigation over to a different area. She's like, well, I can sell you this uh, nav key for 10,000 bits or you can go and do something for me. So I'm like, all right, let's see what we got to go do. And uh, I've already forgotten. <laughs> I'm like, I already forgotten. What do I got to do? She told me to... Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. We have to... Oh, we got to go back to Terror 2? Oh, fine. We have to go and investigate a distress signal on Terra 2. Or we could buy the damn nav key for 10,000 bits, but I'm kind of interested in this job she has going. Let me save it. Just really quick. Yeah, there's some fences, some black market peeps. But she has like the same, which is weird though. She's got the same stuff that everybody else has pretty much. Except for that minor thing. That was cool. Uh, So by the way, Gladys... Now that I'm going to do this cool thing for you, you mind if I look around for info? Is this info? Oh, it's money. <laughs> who leaves their money on the floor? In fact, who are these people? Just spacers, right? I'd work just for the cookies, but Gladys insists on paying us in cold, hard bits. Oh, she really does make cookies? Nice. All right, shh. I'm going to save it because I don't know if she's... She's probably going to get mad, but I don't know if she will. Let's see, let's see. Well, didn't it say to look in a terminal? No, I think it said just look around for data. It didn't say to look in a terminal exactly. All right, uh, not doing anything here. There we go. Did I oh, 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 oh! What do you think you're doing? No, oh, just, uh, I, I was looking for, um... My my shoe is untied. All right, fine. Yeah, sorry. My my apologies. I just uh, wow, Felix. Why did you get so close to that safe? Oops. Shh. <laughs> Almost busted. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Well, maybe later she'll let us look through her stuff, or hopefully later those damn bodyguards of hers leave. All right. So what I'm getting from all this is that we do have to go back. Uh, to our ship, and I guess we gotta go. Alright, let me see really quick. I'm pretty sure. Alright, well, just to make sure though. Oh, 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 you're wrong, so. Yeah, I was wrong. What do I have to do with Gladys? Oh, I gotta buy that damn thing, or. I rely on the damn, if you guys see that little quest marker, I rely on that quest marker way too much in this game. <laughs> I know. Well, because she said we got to go back to Terror 2, but if I do, that means I have to board the ship, right? The reason I'm questioning that is because there is no quest marker at the ship. Well, I'm kind of like, hmm. But we've already talked to Gladys. If I talk to her again, she's going to want to sell me that thing. Let me go. Oh, we had to listen to the distress signal. Assuming we got to listen to it in here. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Oh, yeah, huh? True Nikes. Dude, I was wanting to see it. <laughs> I waited a long time to see Joker as well. I wanted to see it like weeks ago, but I kept forgetting. Tuesdays are special over here for the theaters because instead of charging you 11 bucks per person, they charge you $5.50. So I'm like, yeah. Even popcorn was more expensive than that. I'm like, no. That's not good. Welcome Kathy, to the unreliable. If you're looking for crew members LA or Felix, they're sharing a drink upstairs. Oh, fuck. No, they're not. Ellie, you bitch. You stay away from my man. Totally kidding, you guys. Trolling. Oh man. Also, excuse the language, I just do that for fun. And I did not, honestly though, I did not know we had a bar upstairs. I haven't really explored the ship too, too much. i just been to my room and flown it, <laughs> and that was it. Yeah, I didn't even know we had a kitchen up here, nice. We're all hooked up. 
Oh my gosh, I think I took everything on accident. Or I mean, there was stuff and then it disappeared. But I didn't press X or anything. We got some purple juice, some spectrum vodka. Ooh, tobacco corn. Take some tobacco corn. All right, where's those two lovebirds at? We're breaking this up. Hey, what's this? Oh, a jacket, cool. <laughs> it's distressed instead of de-stressed. Bullet riddled leather jacket. Probably the bullets are de-stressing it. What's this? A trauma kit, scissors for gauze, scalpels for wounds, and handheld laser wands for a flawless complexion. Ooh, flawless complexion. A <laughs> stimu lotion. I don't even want to know. Oh, see, I kind of passed through these. <laughs> this is not a petunia. Petunia the plant, and it's not a petunia, though. That's interesting. I hadn't actually explored my own spaceship. Banged up toolbox. Full of modified tools with unique mechanical usages. Digging around in here would be an easy way to lose a finger. Oh, God. To a sawtooth blade. <laughs> You're just, like, digging in the bag. <laughs> oh. Or imagine if they had, like, tiny lightsabers. Just because, you know, this is the future. <laughs> Tidy lightsabers, you reach in. Oh. Come back with, like, one finger less. Oh. Abigail. The first wrench dad ever gave me. She's been a friend ever since. Oh, this is Parvati's room. Well, it said Parvati. I'm all looking through her stuff. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, okay, so I get it now. These are the rooms of our teammates or our crew members. Cool. I'm all nosy as F. Ah, they don't mind. I wonder who gets this crappy room. No. <laughs> so that's your room. Oh, no. Hey, what's up, Steven? Good to see you, dude. Hey. Welcome to the channel, fellow caster. How you been, Steve? Hopefully good. Is that easily? Oh, never mind. When you said blah, we have somebody whose name is easily forgettable. Blah. I was like, is that easily? He's in here too. Hey, thank you for being here, you guys. Thank you for being here, lurkers. Dude, long days, huh? You been gaming lately, Steven, or nah? Almost Christmas, though. Well, Christmas, jeez, though. <laughs> Almost Thanksgiving. We gotta get there first. Tomorrow's my mom's birthday, you guys. Woo! So I think, well, it depends, you know, on what she does. But I think if she goes to work, I'm gonna see if I can go down and get her a cake. Yay! Um, if not, if she stays home, then... I don't know. We'll have to... I have those two gifts coming for her. Uh, from Amazon, so that hopefully they'll get here by tomorrow. Fingers crossed. They shipped last night, so that was good. I'm using my Amazon Prime free membership for a little bit. Free one month trial. There you go. Not membership, but free trial for a little bit. So hopefully we get those tomorrow. We'll be celebrating mom's birthday, eating some good food and stuff. No, we're not playing any games. Oh, I feel you. Like sometimes days get really busy and then I don't have time to play by myself. So last week I took a few days off just to like play games on my own and really, really dive into them again. <laughs> Yay, thank you, Bish. Happy birthday, Soul's mom, woo. She gonna be the grand old, I hope she doesn't get mad saying that. Cause she goes, I think she's going to work tomorrow. She said, I'm not telling anybody. <laughs> so she's not telling anybody that it's her birthday tomorrow. I'm like, mom, just tell them. Uh, but I think it's cause she doesn't want them to know her age. She's gonna be the grand old 69, I mean the grand, Young. 69. Yeah, this is crazy, you guys. Dude, I can't believe it. I know, I want time to stop for mom, because, well, you know. 69 is almost 70 escapees. I'm starting to get a little worried myself. But, um, anyways, all weird stuff aside. It's going to be a good day, though, you guys. Yay, good day. Ooh. What 
what is this? Sam. Oh, and there's the kick me sign. Kick me sign, created for a prank. Sam wore this sign for a week before Ada noticed and pointed it out to the janitorial unit. Who placed it on the unit, however, remains a mystery. <laughs> Somebody put it on the unit. Nice. I'm taking this and this. We'll talk to Sam right now. Oh, snap. There's no response from the auto mechanical unit. The serial number etched in its chassis includes the letters S-A-M. Leave the auto mechanical alone. So then but I, I never, said, oh, there they are. Fine. I'll pay you back for all of it. He's With dropping. Interest. Nice one. You must have had him quaking in their heels. I mean, I wasn't really gonna do it. I just wanted to make him feel bad. Pay you back with interest. I gotta remember. Would have felt better if it had worked. Nobody make any sudden moves. Alright. Okay. I was just here making sure Ellie didn't touch my man. <laughs> hello, hello. What's this going on? Do I need an explanation here? Explain. You, <laughs> Felix, I think we should part ways. No. Just kidding. Something on your mind? We already asked her about herself. Nope, I guess that's it. Huh, that's interesting. I wonder, so the main lady, Ada, she's the one that told us about these two. She's like, if you want to talk to Ellie and Felix, they're upstairs having a drink. Like, okay. And they didn't invite us either. No invite? Psh. Well. I've shut off the visual feed from my ocular inputs in the captain's quarters. So you're free to disrobe whenever you'd like. Well, thank you, Ada. I appreciate that. She said she shut up her... She shut up. <laughs> she shut off her ocular orbs. She closed her eyes, damn it. Space. Space looks really, really pretty in this game. Well, at least certain skies do. Alright, let me see if I can. Ooh, I wonder if I have any messages. Should we search up Sam, that auto mechanical robot? Let's check him out. What's the first Sam result? Experimental note 01695. Do not forget. He found a discarded sanitation and maintenance auto mechanical in Emerald Vale's scrap heap during your last job. So he's a sanitation and maintenance auto mechanical. So he, he is the janitorial unit. Huh. It's interesting. Uh, it should not be too difficult to get it up and running. With a few key modifications, I can even envision a compact, whoa, combat capable variant. Nice. Some might say a clean, mean killing machine. Ooh. Should be fun. That's from Alex Hawthorne. All right, the second note on Sam is removal of factory standard part, sud steeper was successful. Delivery of combat modified replacement part, acid steeper has been delayed. Oh, has been delayed, boo. Progress setback is estimated now to be a solid three months. Not like I have more pressing matters to attend to. Ah, but I do. All right, here's the last one on him. Given up hope on the delivery, the part's lost in transit and it's not turning up anytime soon. But, good news, I heard from a fellow who knows a gal who knows the broker who overcharged me for information regarding the location of an acid steeper that I can uh, filch. The part was sent to in an old storage facility in Roseway. I sure never thought I'd go back to that pit. Good thing Auntie abandoned it years ago. Oh, aren't we going there too, maybe? I'll pick it up following this next pit stop back to Emerald Vale. Wells wants me to chaperone some person of interest. Hmm. Details to come later. That was us, and then we went and flattened him with our drop-in ship as well. Cool. Oh, Monterey 50! Oh my goodness. Hey, she looks good. She's looking good, Steven. I have her, or I think I have her, um, on my Facebook and stuff. She's still acting like she's 21. 
She looks really good when uh, Becca puts makeup on her too. I'm like, oh, that's cool. Mom never let me do that. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you should let me try to do your makeup. Then again, I can't do makeup very well, so I understand. I'm like, yeah, you're right. I guess I don't know what I'm doing. You too, Bishop? Oh, it's, it does get, I don't know about you, but for me, I'll be honest though, you guys, it gets a little scary, you know? Just now whenever mom falls down, like it's not funny anymore. <laughs> It used to be funny, you know, when she was, like, younger, like, 45, 50, and, you know, I was a little kid and stuff. It used to be kind of funny if mom would fall or, you know, something happens. But now, you guys, it's like, oh, oh if mom falls down, I'm like, I hope nothing broke, you know. She always needs help getting up and stuff. <laughs> my dad turns 29, or 69, he's going to get a lewd card, same. I should get my mom a lewd card. Oh, I can't say same, because... I'd have to go all the way to the mall, go to, uh, oh, unless they have those funny ones. No, they don't. I was going to say, unless they have those, like, really lewd ones at Walmart, but they don't. I'd have to go to, like, a Spencer's novelty shop. Oh, it does. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'll have to go check Walmart aisle, because I do need to get Mom a card tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So I'll be either at Safeway or Walmart or somewhere, you guys. Actually, thank you for reminding me of that. So I have to go to the store regardless. Even like if mom stays home for work and stuff. So I might just buy a cake anyways. Or make one. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Hephaestus Mining. Oh, this is a cartridge that I got from... What's her name? Gladys. But I had to buy it just for about 200 bits. So it's a cheaper one. Alright, let's search here. Alright, we got that. Oh, that was the thing. That's cool, you guys. Remember that thing that I bought? Well, apparently that's what we needed to get that space weapon. Oh, that scientific space weapon. Okay. So I guess we didn't have to lockpick Gladys's uh, box anyways. <laughs> I was lockpicking for fun, apparently. Oops. All right. Result one from this search. The captain sold Harris something called the Rearranger. When left before we discovered the damn thing doesn't work. The only thing it rearranged is the number of bits on Harris's cart. Looks like it left some straight. Oh, it looks like like. Gosh dang it! Looks like some strange tech or a weapon. Maybe a scientist can make something of it. Well, we have a scientist, Dr. Wells. Result two. From the site safety officer's incident report. Doc Caulfield couldn't save Lem. Now I gotta arrest Harris for his murder confiscated that weapon he used and stored it in Bertie's office for now. Figured the least the site supervisor can do is fill out the forms for whatever the damn thing is. I don't know how I'm going to detain Harris. Not like we got prison cells on this rock. Huh. That's interesting. Confiscated that weapon he used during in Bertie's office. All right, anyways, result number three from the Barber's Coronary Inquest. Given name was Lemuel, family name was Hereford. Employment, st employment status, he was indentured for 35 years. Jeez, two months, 16 days, five hours, and 33 minutes. Holy snap. Time of deceasement, 18 hours and 27 minutes. Or, I mean, excuse me, uh, 1827, so 630. Hold on, you guys, my batteries are dying. should be good I hope hope we're not delayed that would be embarrassing happens though sometimes okay so this is just information about that science weapon that we're kind of looking for we did figure out the name which it's called the rearranger but the second search result I'm assuming the reason we're talking about people like Doc Caulfield and Lem they probably were the people that were using the rearranger last I'm guessing uh, and one of them, you know, got in trouble for killing another guy. Cause of deceasement, and it was blunt force trauma. The weapon was unknown. Took a good whack to the noggin. 
the facial area to be specific about it. It's all twisted up to nose is five times too big, jaw is shrunk to almost nothing, teeth are all out of kilter. Oh god. Though I suppose that was true pre deceasement. Ooh. If the blow itself didn't kill him, there's no way he could have breathed in with all that damage. It's crazy. So now we know that this science weapon, I'm assuming, is going to be a melee. That person died from blunt force trauma, and what it does is kind of rearrange your face. His nose is five times too big, his jaw is tiny. Weird. All right, well, that was that. Now I do know that I need to talk to Parvati. Remember she was training with that one lady? We have to go ahead and ask her like, hey, how'd your training go? Remember, so just to make it easy. Oh. May shift during takeoffs and landings. Thank you, Ada. Oh, look at that. Those two are just right up there. <laughs> and I ran all the way around. I'm like, where are they at? All right, I hear some hammering. Look, I hear the workbench hammering, but nobody's here. And the reason I know it's the workbench is because when I get farther away from it, so does the sound. Well, you know what? I don't know where Parvati's at. So I am going to make it easy. I'm going to cheat. I go to my journal. And I'm going to... Wait, what was the acid steeper? That's kind of cool. Even though uh, Alex Hawthorne wasn't our real teammate because he's dead and stuff, he still ha or his quest still shows up right here. Or the quest for Sam, that auto mechanical robot. Interesting. Okay. All right. Let's see where Parvati's at. Oh my gosh, she was right around the corner. I was like, let me make this easy. I don't see her anywhere. She's like right around the corner. Jeez. Parvati, you fixing stuff? Oh, thank you. Keeping us all good and situated. That's kind of interesting. What's back here? I want to see that fire. Cool. That's awesome. Okay, anyways, Parvati. Uh, how'd Sorry. that thing go? Nope. Hey, Captain, oh, can I get your temperature on something real quick? Sure. <laughs> Is the ship about to blow up? What? No. If it were, <laughs> I'd be hollering loud enough to wake the dead. Be all sarcastic. So, June Lay and I have been talking some. Oh, good. Two she messages. got into it. I got him here on my data pad, and, well, she sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I whoa, should Whoa, whoa, whoa. Because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good, <laughs> but real sweet. It's a terrible poem, but really nice. Uh-oh, uh -oh. does it uh, come from the heart? Oh, law. That's what's got me spooked. I don't uh -oh. rightly know. It's about Heart this body falling in love. Apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. And the trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but... I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and oh my goodness! I'm the lady? Oh, it's a real romantic poem. Parvati, my chest hurt kinda. I had no idea Parvati swung that way. Wow! And I had oh my goodness! Excuse me, Parvati. I had you marked all wrong, girl. My bad. Remember how I was like, you better stay away from Felix. Oh, you better not talk to that guy. <laughs> Mate, well, maybe she's bisexual though. Remember that other dude that had a crush on her? But then again, she really didn't like have any feelings for him. Maybe that's why. Hmm. <laughs> this crew needs you. Focus on your work, woman. Oh, let's see. Sounds like she likes you. I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. Bye, wicked. Thank you for hanging out, I'm dude. Not much. I appreciate it a ton. Physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't. I just. Don't care for it. Oh, me too, Parvati. Problem in the past. That's the sad. Wanted to be with me back in the veil. They didn't. They said I was cold. Oh, me too, Parvati. Give me a hug. No. Ah, uh, you're not cold. You're like super warm. 
could just be the nerves. Everybody's different. Sort of thing's nice, but it's not everything. Hey, there's the voice of reason right there. <laughs> Folks have said the same about me. Too true, dude. Too true. Like, I love the idea of love, but then at the same time, I'm like, uh, I'm good too right now. I'm just single, doing my own thing. <laughs> yeah, to hell with them. Man, I want to be really nice, but I also want to be like, yeah, that's, well, that's what everybody says. Night Wicked, thank you for hanging out, dude. Yes, thank you guys. Woo! Here, take some. Since it's just us right now, take some soul gems, everybody. Thank you for being here, Bishop and Iron. Everyone, you guys rock. Yay! Throwing some commands in there. <laughs> yeah. There we go. We have an active chat. Yes. I'm going cold. Folks have said the same about me, Parvati. I'm sad to hear it, Captain. You seem plenty warm to me in your way. You but too, yeah. Parvati. Don't feel great, does it? When no. folks start implying you're a little different from an auto mechanical, you start to wonder. <laughs> I guess I just needed to talk. Yeah. I'm feeling a touch better. Oh, I hope I didn't Thanks bum her out too, though. Oh, I should have been extra nice. Another message from Junlei. I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm gonna change that, right now. Okay, here we go. And then Junlei is like, "Oh, by the way, Let's my girlfriend," here. and she's like, "Oh Talking shit, I friends, lost my chance." To thinking. Oh, 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 Isabel. Who's, who's Isabel? Who the fuck is Isabel? Uh oh. Uh-oh, that went downhill fast. Everything okay? They were close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. Oh, I gotta kick somebody's ass, Parvati. <laughs> they were close, though? I don't know. June Lay talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some uh -oh. drinks at that bar there? Lost Hope? Oh, hell yeah, I'm down for some drinks. Yeah, <laughs> great idea. Drinking solves everything. Woo! Let's see if that's what you want. Next time we go, drinks are on me. You said you don't drink. Will you be all right? I don't think drinking is going to solve this problem. But it wouldn't it be easier to talk to her about this Isabel person? Ah, screw that. I'm immature. On, <laughs> drinking solves everything. I'm full serious. Next time we're on the Groundbreaker, I aim to get a drink. Well, let's do if it. If I got to, I'll do it on my lonesome. But I'd feel better if someone I trusted was there. Did I tell it? Did I do the wrong one? Tell her like I'm not doing it or something? I thought I was. Oh God! I hope I didn't. Um. <laughs> maybe that was the sarcastic answer. Anyways, Parvati, if you really want to go get that drink, we really do have to take her. All right, let's go do that right now then. Okay, it says take Parvati to the ugh, screw ladders. <laughs> Going down the easy way, jumping. Yeah, let's go get crunk with Parvat. Uh, I will take you. No, 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 fuzz. I pressed X. My bad. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I broke that one right there. Oh my goodness. Well, I have to go back in, you guys. I know, I messed up. I done messed up right there. Spending points in the skill group raises other skill groups. And we do have quite a few skills that are going to 50 right now. Inspiration improves companions attack damage. Oh, that's right, too. I still gotta start upgrading my weapons and armor again. I'd forgotten that. Alright, there's the bar. But we don't have Parvati with us. I guess we could technically go without her, but no, I want her in the party, too. Maybe she'll meet us up over there, but... It's messed up, man. <laughs> like, that's messed up. No, I'll collect her and we'll go. We'll go. Hey, what's up, Steph Stream? Welcome in, Steph Stream. Uh, Outer World's going good. Not bad, not bad. Oh, hold on, you guys. I know, I feel like I have a little echo. Oh, it might be that one. I know, I had to mute a tab really quick. Outer World's is going good. So far, we have 
three companions. We're on the ground breaker. We're almost ready to get off. We just have to get that nav key. And uh, right now we're kind of... I, I just found out that Parvati... If you're looking oh. for crew members Ellie or Felix, they're sharing a drink upstairs. Thank you, Ada, for knock knocking them out again. I see. Thanks for rubbing it in, Ada, that I don't get invited to these drinks. Anyways. <laughs> um... Oh, I lost my train of thought right there. Oh, yeah, we just learned Parvati might be bisexual. I was like, what? No wonder she didn't date that one dude. But she's got a little bit of a crush on the Groundbreakers captain. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, we do do that. And then I have to, I got to deselect them, right? All right, so we'll take Parvati and... Uh, you know what? I'm going to take Vicar Max. Because Parvati and the Vicar, they kind of know each other a little better. Plus, you know what? Let these two lovebirds hang out. I'm jealous. <laughs> jealous as F now. Oh, gosh. Sorry, I messed it up. There we go. Now we did it. Now we did it. Alrighty, Bishop. Thank you for hanging out. He's going to be uh, back soon, escapees. Am I enjoying it more than Fallout? Ooh, that's a tough question. I would say... Honest opinion? No. Uh, but... But only because... Mm, how would I say it? I guess Fallout's more... Well, you know, I'm still kind of early in the game, but for right now, I would say that Fallout still has, it's got a bigger map. If we're talking about Fallout 3, 4, New Vegas, and even 76, they all have bigger maps to explore. They all have more junk to find, more crafting abilities, uh, things like that. But other than that, like lore-wise, story-wise, ooh, this game is amazing. Like you can make a lot of different decisions and it actually affects like things happening later down the line. Whereas in like Fallout 4, you could kind of, you could tell like sometimes you'd make the negative decision, but the outcome would still kind of be the same as if you had made the positive decision. I don't know, there's just some little issues I had with Fallout 4 that way too. But no, Outer World doesn't have any of that. Almost every decision you make is going to affect the game later on, which is pretty cool. <laughs> I know, I was like, hmm. The fact that you can explore, go check out caves and stuff. Uh, you know, I haven't seen too much of that. We could have, you know, in that last map, we could check out those little small caves, but I just felt like the map was, you know, it was just that little small area confined. Is there mods for Outer Worlds? I'm curious now. And good to see you, Saps. Dude, how have you been? How's the stream going? Hopefully good. I think I remember your streamer. If not, forgive me. I'm sorry. I know it's been a while, so I do forget you guys. I apologize. I'm sorry. All right, so we're taking Parvati. We just learned that Jun Le, which is the captain over here, uh, Jun Le might be into Parvati a little bit. And Parvati is a little jealous, though, reading about Junlei's ex or something. Some girl named Isabel. She says she wants to go and drink. I'm like, all right. <laughs> I'm all for that. So, oh, I haven't streamed in a year. Do we get a table? Stand in a corner? We stand in the corner, Parvati, and we wait for somebody to come talk to us. Let's go. Okay, so what are we drinking? What is that awkward Maybe shadow on you? Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just yes. do it proper. Oh, man, we're going to buy a whole bunch of stuff then. <laughs> You're not much of a drinker. Let's start slow with the beer. I'd start with a beer, but you said in Edgewater the smell made you sick. How about wine? If you really want to get drunk, whiskey is efficient. Or, are you sure you want to do this? You seem kind of nervous. Oh... You know, I want to be a good person, <laughs> but I also want to party with Parvati, so... I don't want to abuse the poor girl, though. Because she does, she does say that, you know, drinking's not her specialty, so... Hmm. 
Ah, we're getting drunk. I'm drunk Whiskey. What I'm aiming for, so I'll take your word on it. Yeah, let's do it for a buddy. Enough. We're not here Whiskey's for the taste, anyways. Choice. Think I may have a glass myself. Yeah, Max is in with us. Max, Max, oh. Max. No, it's good. I'm, I'm fine. Oh. I just didn't expect it to taste like. Oh, propellant. Oh hell yeah, oh, propellant. Nice. I can feel it settling. Oh, good, God. good. I'm pining for June like something fierce. Oh no, she's opening what up. Am I doing? Oh gosh, she's pining for June Lei is something fierce. Uh, generally or specifically, what are you doing? Specifically, definitely, definitely specifically. <laughs> oh, oh, why did I drink that? I mean, just with June Lei. I don't know what to do about us. Dang, things got serious all quick. Well, yeah, tell me why her message was so weird. That beats me. I got a rough track record with relationships. Now I want to see why her message was awkward. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, Isabel. Isabel. Forgot about that. Mentioned her by name and everything. Like, she wanted me to know. Hmm. Maybe I've been making a right fool of well, myself she's not whole keeping time. Secrets. Maybe she's not interested after all. Yeah, what did she actually write in that message? Or that poetry? No one sends ter terrible, vaguely sensual poetry to somebody they don't like. True. Yeah, I don't want to be nosy. I'm actually going to... Yeah, I'll, I'll tell her this. Who sends that type of poems they don't like? Uh, uh, them? I don't know. I'd call it uh, sensual. That's <laughs> It's about fixing something and a mechanic putting their hand on it. Mm, the poem implied you calming her with the touch. That's romance serial grade stuff right there. It. Oh dear, I hadn't really. Oh my goodness. And I told you! Oh. As an avid reader and collector of rare tomes, I believe I ought to have a look at this specimen of literature. Faker Max, you old lecher. Mm hmm. He said he wanted to have a read of it too. You know what he wants to do with that. It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad. How a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. I start us. This Isabel lady out. never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all. Oh, they didn't. Dad you think didn't June approve of it. Feelings for her. <laughs> uh, she might. I don't know. I'm not June Lei, but I'll go with the third option. I just got a lot of feelings, Captain, and they're all climbing up my throat. I need another drink. True. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. I don't know, Parvati. You said you didn't like that drink. <laughs> Let's get you some water. Same as before. I want to get her crunk. She, gonna, she better be spilling those lips. No more Juicy you. secrets. I think another would leave me on the floor. Well, take another. What was the saying, you guys? Is it, it's not whiskey, huh? Beer before wine, you're gonna be fine. Oh, okay, it's liquor before beer. Oh gosh, I can't remember that saying. Beer before liquor, get quick sicker, or get sicker, no. Get sick quicker. Liquor before beer, never fear, right? So we just had our liquor, I guess. It's beer time. We had beer in the veil. Smelled like dad's <laughs> Smelled old socks. like dad's old socks. Nice. Maybe this is better? Down it goes. Oh, God. Uh, thank you for no, coming it's, in, Seth. It's still bad. It's still really very bad. Oh. <gasps> oh, Captain, I want to talk to June Lay all the time. Even about silly things, but... So oh man, what if we lose Parvati though? That would be sad. What are you scared about though? Um, everything? I Just rejection, I'm assuming. Worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? <laughs> she doesn't like me. What if she does? What if she's yeah? What if she does? That lady Isabel. What if we we get together and she gets bored of me? Oh, poor Parvati, dude. She's so worried. Don't stop there. You're on a roll. Well, there's an easy way to get to answers to those questions. Ask. There's nothing easy about 
about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. Well, that's you true. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. You're but, not? Oh, well, she did kind of well, say that. it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks well, Parvati, what if she wants to be physical, though? <laughs> Gotta think about her as well. She's okay with that. What if she is, but then later, she's not? Well, there's only one way to know. I know it's not easy, but... That's tripped up folks in the past. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later she's not? Oh, okay, so Parvati's saying she doesn't like to get physical with anyone. I thought she was just saying, like, oh, she's a little cold, but she's, like, really cold. I mean, not really cold, but, you know, she doesn't want to be with anybody. Huh. And then I'm all, like, the sneaky snake kind of trying to get in there. You know, we have that in common. <laughs> yeah, I think she's afraid of being rejected. I mean, of course, aren't we all, right? I mean, I know I am. If I'm trying to date somebody, I'm like, <gasps> oh, they don't say no. That's, like, the worst thing, right? I know, true, you can't control people or how they react to you. I'm just gonna say, are you afraid of being rejected? What a dumb question though, of course she is. Of course. Right? Maybe. Yes. Everyone is, true. That no, I am who I am. Yes. Huh. <laughs> I'm always nervous. I never thought of it that way. I wonder what June's afraid of being rejected for. She seems perfect to me. Maybe those are just my rosish colored goggles talking. Oh, yeah, June Lay, she's, she's definitely strong, not perfect. <laughs> not Gosh, to be rude or anything. I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. Oh. I think ungenerous thoughts. Me too, Parvati. We all do. Well, I suppose so, but I, I want to be my best self for her. A good person, worth caring for. Oh. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. Hmm. Yeah. So are you gonna ask her out? Oh gosh, I, I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? Yes, but it has to be long distance relationship, so she stays with me on my ship. <laughs> now you're still unsure? Yes, just ask her, or say, don't ask for my opinion. Believe in yourself. <laughs> what does the booze tell you? I think I'll go with inspiration. But I do want to say the persuasion part. Inspiration. Do okay. it. Okay, I'm going to do it. Believe in me. Believe in the ship. me that believes ship. in you, Parvati. I mean, probably. <laughs> Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. Oh my gosh, you guys. And well, I hope I got that. For being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. Well, You're good people it's too, not like Parv. I could be elsewhere. Nor am I capable of neglecting a wayward lamb in need of guidance. Vicar Max, huh. nobody said anything to All you. All right. <laughs> he just Thank butts in. Yeah, it's, well, I'm yeah, glad I could be friends. here. You know like, Vicar Max, you didn't say I one wish, word. I wish there was a place we could all He live just jumped in to together. drink and then he was quiet listening. Come on, let's go. <laughs> all right, cool. Drinking sapphire wine right there. All right, so that was a little quest complete. Um, I guess we can take her back to the ship and then probably talk to her about Junle and stuff. Max, you didn't help out at all, dude. You just talked about the whiskey and then at the end you're like, yeah, I'm glad I could be here. All right, well, I always love to lend a listening ear. <laughs> How about giving some advice, Vicar Max? Come on. Look at this poor girl in need. Can't you see? Look at the pain on her face. Can't you see the pain on her face? Aren't you a priest? Like, not today, I'm a chef. <laughs> not today, I'm the ship chef. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hello, Winstone. Good to see you. Thank you for coming in, you guys. I know, I was a little late to stream today, so I'm sorry. So it will be a little bit shorter. A uh, shorter cast. Um, Alright, so we got Parvati. She fell in love with June Lei. I'll go ahead and show you guys June Lei. So that we need to remember, because I even forgot a little bit how she looked. Um, but she's the captain of this space station known as the Groundbreaker. Oh, is it Phineas Wells? Nope, don't know him. I think she's in the... She should be around here. <laughs> We're all bringing Parvati to the person she loves. Air Shunlei. 
This is the captain of the space station. Hello, ma'am. Oh yeah, she's pretty. Smell that fresh air? Oh, oh yeah, she's the one that kind of sounds like a robot. What do you need, Captain? <laughs> they call her handsome. Oh, I can't narc out Parvati. That's okay. Alright. Bye. Nobody's been telling me about any of the letters you sent to Parvati. Don't worry. Parvati's been telling us everything. Okay. Hey, is that like a fast travel station? Oh, never mind. I was like looking, you see how yeah, I can see that little green marker? It was like right over this thing. I was like, dude, is that a fast way? Or a fast travel station to my ship? But nope, it's not. This goes to the back base, which is underneath, I think. That's where all the broiler people live. I have a weird thought. Is it possible to jump over the edge here? I know it's a little crazy, but I'm kind of curious. I'm gonna try it. Right. Ready? Oh, you can't, okay. I was just curious. They did make these guards people safe. Have you seen this man? Okay. All right, go ahead and check the map. And I think that's about it with the side quests. Well, at least for around here, I think. Our weapon, science weapon, acquire the science weapon. After reviewing the data archive from Hephaestus, you learned that a powerful weapon was used to kill one of the miners. Search the outpost for that weapon. Okay. But I am curious, how come... Huh. How come that first box on top isn't checked? The one that it says acquired the science weapon on Groundbreaker? Because we did get that item from Gladys. Hmm. I wonder. All right, well, let's take off anyways. In fact, I think all we gotta do is take Parvati back to the ship. Gotta track down that guy. Gotta find an acid steeper. Oh, from the Roseway. And we haven't found the Roseway yet, so... Alright, good enough. Alright, let's go, escapees! All we gotta do is... Not buy that thing from Gladys, but I have to listen to some kind of... In fact, it might be in my own inventory. I have to listen to some kind of tape that she gave me, right? It's like a distress signal. Alright, here's the quest. There's the ID cartridge. I got a lot of them. Here it is. This data log contains a recording of an automated distress call. Your ship's computer can display the call. Retrieve the source coordinates. All right, let's go. Cool. Oh, so I do have to listen to this on my ship. That's what I thought. It's just there's no quest marker, and I always rely on those dang quest markers. So right now it's just telling me to go back to Gladys, but we're going to do it better way where hopefully we get some more experience and we'll have a nice little adventure plus you know some distress call or distress calls can be fake we might go over there and those people aren't really hurt they're actually wanting us to or you know they're wanting to ambush us or something who knows against all odds the unreliable takes flight get temporary bonuses to your skills from consumables. I always forget to eat my consumables or drink them. Or wearing armor. Dialogue skill combat abilities trigger automatically in combat, distracting your enemies. Dialogue skill? Hmm. Most melee weapons can perform up to three swing combos. Some unique weapons can do fewer or many more. Ooh, that'd be cool to have a melee weapon. That does combos and stuff. Alrighty, Ada. Why are you complaining? Always complaining, Ada. Okay, here's our nav terminal. There's Terra 2. Okay, so Ada. How do I listen to a distress signal? I know I can just, you know... 
Well, I don't know if I'm going to the right spot, so how do I use this? <laughs> how can I be of assistance? Maybe she can play it. Uh... Oh yeah, there we go. Picked up this distress call. Can you uh, play yes, it back for me? Beginning playback now. There we go. Oh god! Everywhere. Gunfire, gnashing teeth. The unemployed. <laughs> Viscera, oh for no. For all's sake, if anyone's receiving this, <laughs> The unemployed. What? Uh, no, 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 no. Captain, uh oh. We are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. Also, corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Vaughn Cortez, and Orson Shaw. Who are those people? Oh, people that we have to retrieve? Key personnel for retrieval? Ooh. Alright. <laughs> I'm in the mood for some entertainment. Can she show us stuff? Let me see. I've actually not messed with Ada Certainly, either. Captain. We just got what our ship like back uh, last stream, I think. Oh, tell me a joke. I wish I was your second derivative, so I could investigate your concavities. Oh, scientific jokes. <laughs> Yeah, play my favorite now song. Play a Spacer's Choice advertisement jingle. Oh, it's advertisement jingle. Choice. Boo. It's Spacer's Choice. Yeah. That, that's not my favorite song. Everyone in Halcyon is contractually obligated to label this or another board certified jingle their favorite song. Ada. That's As enough for wish, now. Captain, I must Instead of entertained, I am boys. now offended. I'm not entertained. I mean, let's start asking her some stuff. Hey, do you know about Sam? The unit is a cleaning Sam. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it, but I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify Sam. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for Sam to properly operate. Okay. I think, yeah, we did, didn't we? And all we needed to do was get that acid spitter, which is at the rose way, which we're going to. Cool. I have lots of minutes, many minutes, unlimited minutes, perhaps. <laughs> Let me borrow Provided some from my phone. Power source, I can function indefinitely. Nice, Ada. What if you don't have a power I source? I prefer to think of it as being in a state of slumber, perhaps for an indefinite duration of time. Do you think that is what it's like for the colonists on the Lost Hope? <laughs> I guess. When I simulate myself in such a scenario, I do not find it to be desirable. I think my self-preservation protocols incline me to desire the alternative. Oh no! Ada would like to die? What might that Traveling be? Traveling the system with you, Captain. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was thinking of the negative part. <laughs> Yeah, what about your last captain, Alex? Hmm? You miss him? Do you know what it feels like when the ship undergoes an unexpected power surge? A jolt to the system. I have felt that. I do feel that. Oh. As you may be aware, Captain Alex Hawthorne was a smuggler of some repute. I failed to predict the likely outcome of his reckless behavioral patterns. I should have predicted that. In our Aww, poor Ada. Today, she has regrets. I like to pass time by, as he called it, tinkering to improve my design. Aww, so I guess they did kind of become buddies. Well, I'm assuming. Had there been other captains besides Alex? Mean, was Captain Hawthorne my first? Yes, <laughs> Ooh. he was. Aww, that's sad. How can I be of assistance? Now we're the second and we're probably not as cool as Captain Hawthorne. Well, now I feel bad. All right, tell me about this what colony here. Colony would you like to discuss? All of it. Phineas's orbital uh, lab. Yes. As Dr. Wells is a wanted outlaw, he built his laboratory into an asteroid. Orbital nice asteroid. can be challenging to land on. His more so than most. All right. Well, why is, well I'm assuming because it's an asteroid, it's probably always in motion, right? The outlaw scientist known as Dr. Phineas V. Wells has taken a measure of precautions to make the lab undetectable to those hunting him. Oh, Even nice. knowing the location, <laughs> Ada's just telling us this resist my orders easily. To go where I instruct them. 
Oh, that's kind of cool. I mean, it's cool for Wells. He ended up, I guess, modifying his little asteroid base so that nobody would be able to find him. That's kind of cool. Uh, and not even he can find him. What else do you know about there Phineas? There's a bounty on his head. One with a market well, I knew that too. Amount. Shall I engage the laser weapon system? No. No, 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 no. A Don't shoot him. Choice, as we do not have oh. Any laser weapons. <laughs> oh, you got me. I was like, no, 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 no. Of I course. Ask. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? Learned a little bit about Wells there. How about the Groundbreaker, we where we're at? We to dock with the Groundbreaker, if that's your desired destination. We've already Before docked. In fact, we're docked right sure now. All docking forms have been filed in triplicate, and fees have been paid. <laughs> filed in triplicate. Take docking laws quite seriously. Oh, it is a Mardet, not a Marday. Uh, you can take care of that okay. for us, right? Yes. Let me add that to my list of 1,435,498 tasks I am simultaneously executing in order to run our ship. <laughs> Oops. You Thank are you. You're more than welcome, Captain. All right, well, give me the spiel on this the groundbreaker. The was Halcyon's original colony ship. It has since been repurposed as a service station in the Lagrange point of the system. Freighters often deliver interesting. goods from the groundbreaker en route to other destinations. The city ship hosts an array of cargo bays, factories, housing sections, and more. Many of Halcyon's companies maintain office spaces with stationed representatives in what is considered a truly neutral territory within the system. I have filed the required docking forms in triplicate, and fees have been paid. Yes. I think I probably should have done this first, uh, because when I jumped off the our own little ship here, the Unreliable, and I got onto the Groundbreaker, we got impounded right away. Like, gosh dang it. <laughs> Alright, let's talk about something else. Of assistance. How about... I think that's it. Mm -hmm. Alright, talk to you later. Thank you, Ada. Cool. Wait, couldn't I ask her about that other what, colony? How can I be of assistance? What part of the colony would you like to discuss? Okay, see, so yeah, there we go. Hold on, we gotta learn about Terra 2. Mm, Emerald Vale. Edgewater is the sparkling county seat of Emerald Vale. This is where we started out the game at. When first built. Since then, neglect and time have worn away her shiny veneer. The town is yeah, it's pretty rusted down. Captain Hawthorne died. Oh. It would not be unfortunate if something, like say a plague, were to <laughs> wipe Emerald Vale from the face of the planet. Ada, that's messed up. She just said, oh, it wouldn't be unfortunate if a plague were to wipe them all out. <laughs> Ada, why is that? You mean she the must not like the times not people. my distress call with medical assistance, but instead came to issue my injured captain a parking ticket? I'm sure <laughs> there are wonderful humans who don't deserve to be wiped out by starvation or a devastating plague. <laughs> Dude, Ada's evil. She really does think on her own. Hmm. How is Edgewater since we left? Since you diverted power to Edgewater, the botanical lab shut That's down cool. and get the deserters updates. were forced to return to town. Good, Meanwhile, as it should be. Increased, and it yes. The town's population to prosper. Oh, Thank we got known to prosper, you guys. <laughs> oh, Ada's all pissed off because we're helping out Edgewater. Hell yeah. Hey, I call that good. We got them to prosper in their cannery. That's a GG from me right there. Yeah, what would, you, what would you have done, Ada? You'd probably wipe out the whole town. I cannot say. First, I need to adjust my memory interpretation sensors. But I think my answer is yes. Evil Ada. <laughs> Alright, well. Let's of ask course. about somewhere else. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? Mm, let's go with Terra 2 again. Two? And the next place that we're going. Roseway. Any crew traveling to Roseway will find themselves unofficially in officially uncharted space. Ooh. Roseway has been removed from all Halcyon charts, and anything I could tell you, I can't tell you, because it's illegal. <gasps> We're going into illegal territory? Tell me anyway. Uh, here we go. Due to catastrophic financial losses, Redacted reportedly abandoned the town, shutting down 99.2% of all operations. However, 
There is an unsubstantiated rumor that Redacted, in actuality, continue to secretly develop Redacted products by experimenting on Redacted, imported from Redacted, how very revealing. Well, they were working on secret something or other to experiment on something. Hmm. Weapons. <laughs> Hello, Commander. What's up, dude? Commander Sapolo, fellow caster here on Twitch. Welcome, dude. Good to see you. We're just getting crunk with Parvati, our crewmates, and talking to Ada. Uh, but we're hopefully getting ready to go to the Roseway. Still got about, mm, let's say, like an hour and a half, you guys, before I jump off and stuff. But good to see you, Commander. Welcome in. Oh, it's getting that time of night where it's like, oh, I'm going to start moving around on the bed and stuff. All right. So why is Roseway all shrouded in mystery over here, why Uncharted? Why else do humans do anything? I believe the decision was a result of money squabbles. I wish I could say more, but as I previously mm. stated, it is against Colony Ordinance C59-002Y. She's probably right. Of course it's about money. Everything in this game is about money. <laughs> the big old corporations own everything. All right. Uh, let's course. ask again. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? I think, aren't we going to Scylla? Oh, Monarch. I have not heard of Monarch Where yet. Where is Monarch? Uh, Stellar oh, Bay. Monarch, the armpit of the Halcyon system. <laughs> the armpit. Her last functioning port town is Stellar Bay. Well, that is if you don't count Sublight Smuggler's Port at Fallbrook. Hmm. Smuggler's Port. It's Sublight run for the purpose of shipping contraband. And before you ask... I don't know the coordinates, so I can't talk us there. <laughs> no. Darn. Why is the monarch being I blockaded? I believe it has something to do with the planet being an uninhabitable wilderness, and a lawless land with no corporate presence. <laughs> you <laughs> well, may wish sense. to survey the residents in Stellar Bay for additional data points. Okay. All How right. can I be of assistance? I think I pressed the wrong one. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? The one besides Monarch. the one we were just on. Warning. Ascadia. All colonists are urged to reconsider travel to <laughs> Oh, Ascadia look at her face. She got mad. Infestation of mantasaurs and oh, of this is what the mantasaurs are. Oh, man. Who lives on Cascadia besides marauders? There are no people aside from marauders in Cascadia. There is only death. Oh, well, that sounds pleasant. <laughs> What's the local report? The local report is that you will very likely die if you leave Cascadia's landing pad. <laughs> Ada, well, it sounds dangerous. This is one of those times where you say one word but really mean another, isn't it? I suppose you would find an environment like this fun. <laughs> yes, I would actually. All right, well, I think that's all I needed to know. Cool. So Ada just gave us a little background info on the places that we have visited, which was the Vale, Edgewater. Uh, she gave us a little update on it, which was cool. Apparently, after we got the um, the rebels to go back into Edgewater with their leader, too, I might say, um, the cannery seems to be doing good. So I'm good. I'm good with that. I feel like we helped them out. Good, good, good. Um, all right, Ada, I'm trying to think. What's our last quest we got here, girl? I think we just, next thing is, yeah, we're going to go over to Stellar Bay. I believe. Oh, it was the distress signal on Terra too. Okay. Is it this one? There it is. All right, we got to do this distress signal here. Gladys has given us a copy of a distress signal from Terra too. Someone in Roseway, a supposedly abandoned anti-Cleo outpost, requested help. If there are corporate operations hiding there, it's likely you'll be able to find some valuable data to sell back to Gladys. Alright, I'll take it. Let's set active. Excellent. Okay. Let's go. Oh, I'm like, let's go! I was going to jump out the regular way. Oops! Wah, wah. <laughs> Now let's go. So we got to go to Terra 2. But is there like, is there a way to specify that, oh, I need to go to this section of Terra 2 or that one? Okay, there it is. 
Okay, we're going to the Roseway. This is our first time, you guys. Oh, look at our little boat. We're the little ship. Aw. I wanted to see space go flying past our window. <laughs> They're like, nope, you just get to see that right there. Can we talk? All right. Oh, yeah, what's up, Ellie? This Roseway business smells. Something what do you tells mean? me things didn't end well for the guy who made the distress call. Oh, and I know, he's probably dead. Whatever got him will be waiting for us. Oh, I know that, Ellie, of course. I know that guy on the distress signal is probably dead. <laughs> Did you hear him, Ellie? She, he goes, no, at the end. No means no. <laughs> uh, do you know anything about the guy that sent it, What's though? What's there to know, Captain? Shady corporate town caught up in shady corporate shit. Mm -hmm. Tough luck for them, but maybe an opportunity for us. That's why I'm going, Ellie. Hell yeah. <laughs> Someone needs help, and we're going to give it to them. Could be a trap, though. Yeah, why wouldn't they call for corporate With a lot of your companies, the thrashing you take from your boss is worse uh. than whatever a bunch of marauders will do to you. Doesn't exactly oh God. encourage calling for aid when there's a fuck up. <laughs> well, someone needs help, Elle. I'll go with her, though. It could be a trap. I'm counting on it. Anyway, we might as well take a look out there. Yeah, see, that's see what I'm thinking. Might as well when go, though. For us. Yeah. All right, well, thank you for the heads up, Ellie. That's cool you're looking out for us. Okay. I'm gonna go sleep for a few hours in my this captain's is my quarters. Room. It's so spacious. Yes, Ada. Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. I did have fun. And I tried some things I'd never really <laughs> I hope she wasn't hungover. We got drunk Ooh, with Parvati. <laughs> whiskey to get my headache and something oh. fierce. She didn't get like a headache. Primal's chewing on my skull. <sighs> Happens. Uh, hey, by the way, though, did you talk to Jun Lei? I messaged Jun Lei when we got back, and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night, thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. Oh. I reread my message. I think they're gonna morning, fall in love. It was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. Oh my goodness. Well, not bad. Not to ask for spoilers, but will we be drinking again tonight? I don't think she's going to drink again, though. And were there any funny typos? Oh, she called mashed potatoes smashed potatoes. But I think maybe that's just what they call them on Groundbreaker. <laughs> I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. Young love. How sweet. See, I'm thinking Junlei does like her. So Junlei does like you, and she said it in the most awkward way possible. <laughs> True. The Isabel crisis was all a big misunderstanding. Glad we wasted time drinking because Junlei's bad at writing messages. <laughs> if you two marry, you'll be saying, ha ha, just kidding. Unless you're not. That's gonna be funny. I wouldn't ask about Isabel. <laughs> yeah. I mean, in my defense, it's not like June was all too clear about what she was trying to say. She still ain't. I ought to go write her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. <laughs> but anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain. Aw, yes, level up! Woo! Hell yeah, 19,000 points. 19,000 experience as well. Level 11. Nice. Alrighty, take some soul gems, everybody. Take them. Yes, we did it, escape it. All right, so that's cool. I'm guessing that young love is starting to blossom and all that nonsense with Parvati and Jun Lei, so we'll see how that goes. I know, finally got a level achieved. We got that level. Alrighty. Um, I think after that, well, you know what? I didn't even see that. That quest, so I'm gonna go ahead and check. So I got the acid steeper. That's in the roseway, which is where we're going to. So that one, we will uh, we'll get to. This one, this quest, we're gonna have to wait until we get to Monarch. It says it's for Vicar Max. So those are two that we need right there. I'm a little bit scared to talk to Felix because what if he starts, you know, throwing quests at us too? Maybe we should go talk to him. All right, let's go ahead and do this side quest then. Search for secrets in Roseway. And the 
science weapon will be on Scylla, so we don't have to worry about that for a bit. The doom that came to Roseway, investigate the distress call. Wait, that's crazy. We got two quests about the same thing, investigate the distress call. Distress call must have originated from Roseway's broadcast tower. Head there and find out what happened. And then search for secrets in Roseway. Investigate Roseway to find potential company secrets that can be sold. Oh, okay, so they are a little bit different. So Gladys wants secrets then. Hmm. Secrets that can be sold to the highest bidder through Gladys. Talking to the scientists in the town would probably be a good place to start. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So one's for the distress call and one is just called the distress call, but we actually talk to scientists for some reason. <laughs> Why not call this one the distress call then? Oh, I don't know. All right, well, enough about that. Let's get out of here. All right, this time I'm going to take Parvati and... We'll go Parvati, no, we'll go Parvati Ellie. In fact, let's get Parvati out because she's hungover so she can hang out by herself for a bit. We'll go Ellie Felix for this one. All right, let's go. Ooh, this is exciting, you guys. Well, escapees, I haven't done it at all today. So um, everybody here, thank you so much, you guys. I appreciate it. Thank you for the lurks. Uh, peeps in chat, I appreciate that. Nikes, Iron, Bishop, anybody else that was here today, you guys rock. I still have about an hour and 15 minutes left, but I'm going to do the spiel. Even though it's just like a few of us here, a eh, might as well. Um, yes, if you're not following the soul stream and you really want to, <laughs> please consider doing so. That'd be awesome and amazing. Uh, you can find me. The quick Google search of soul escape, soul underscore escape, I should say, capital S E L underscore three S E four P three. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. We also have a Discord channel and all that good stuff. I also reordered uh, re my cards a little bit, so if I mess up, I apologize. <laughs> Snapchat is also open and available to the public. My name on there is Solar Escape, S O U L 0 U R 3 S C A P E. S O U L 0 U R 3 S C A P E. Gamer tag, just add a space, get rid of the underscore. Capital S U L space 3 S C 4 P 3. S U L space 3 S C 4 P 3 right there. Thank you! <laughs> New follower! Woo! No, I appreciate that. Thank you! New follower, Harp! Welcome to the stream. Um, yes, I also have merchandise that is new. We've been streaming for about four years, and finally on the fourth year, we decided, you know what? Let's open up a Streamlabs store. So thanks to the help of All Achievements Unlocked, another fellow caster here on Twitch, we were able to get Streamlabs Pro and open up that merchandise shop. So feel free to check that out, you guys, if you want. Uh, currently at 8,800 followers. Thank you so much for that. We got As time. always, I do appreciate it. A ton. So thank you viewers, escapees, chatters, lurkers, hosters, raiders, biddies, droppers, new subs, ascendants, returning subs. Thank you so much, you guys. Yay! Alright, that's the spiel right there. I just had to get that done. <laughs> oh man, thank you. And if you missed any of those links or curious or whatever, here you go. Links are in the chat, all that good stuff. The merch link is right there. There. Gotta do a little self-promotion, huh? Okay, so now we're at a new spot. We are, ooh, what a schnoz. Every time I see his nose, I'm like, yep, that's a big schnoz. <laughs> it's okay, I got a big nose too, so. Not making fun of him. Just noticing here. <laughs> Felix's nose. Uh, we're in a new area. So, this spot is known as... No Wait, security. where's the map? Not that I'm complaining. You notice no security? True. Yeah, there's nobody here to greet us on the landing pad. Landing, landing pad. Hmm. All right, let's check the map. So here's my ship. Apparently, if we go straight, that's where we're gonna want to head to. We'll meet the town. All right. So you see this little square, you guys? I thought, at least in the other area, I thought that this square would expand, you know, once we start exploring like these outer edges and things. But no, this square area is all that we're going to have to explore for this particular section. So while this game is kind of open world, sometimes, you know, uh, some of these maps, it's like a collection of smaller maps, if that makes sense. 
So the worlds, you know, they're not connected. You can't like go through them freely too, too, excuse me, too quick or anything. It's not like they have huge, huge maps on every single planet, I guess is what I'm trying to say. There's like small maps on every planet that we've gone to so far though. And we've only been to like two different spots, so. All right. Okay. Fast travel location. Let me look around a little bit. This game always gives me Mass Effect Andromeda vibes. Just with the, look at all the new vegetation and stuff. Oh man, we got a new sky. Oh, new sky with new sky rings. Ooh, new screenshots. Oh, and new skill points too. All right, let me get my skills done. Or, you know, I'll set up and stuff. Um. No, no, no. I was just testing. Okay, I'm gonna go. Let's do the two in dialogue to get them to 50. And... You know what? I should start working on my tech again, too. Four, five. Let's go five there. We'll go six to make that 30. And then only two points available. I'll go ahead and dump those right there. And then next time I'll start, you know, really going into long guns and heavy weapons. that for a bit. Nice. Okay, so let me just explore this little outside area. So we're back on Terra 2, but we're in a different section. Now we're in the Roseway. Before, we were in the area known as Vale and Edgewater. Sometimes you can climb these a little bit, but it'll push you off, though. I know, we can't. No Skyrim horse climbing in this game. Darn. Nope, that's as far as we can go. Gotta lies, I see land over there. Dude, these rocks are sick though. I like that green that they are. Algae green. <laughs> Felix is probably like, what the heck are you doing, Captain? What does it look like I'm doing? Oh man, it's good to be back out in the open. Not gonna lie, you guys. Dude, I am battle ready. We need to start shooting some stuff, you guys. Cause uh, all, you know, talking like and you, getting all that, uh... Contempt for the beaten path. Yes. <laughs> Felix, are you being sarcastic over there? He's like, that's what I like about you, boss. The contempt for the beaten path. That means that we're over here, you know, in this non-explored area instead of just following the path that way. <laughs> Thanks, Felix. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Ellie. Your hair looked like Felix's. My apologies. Y'all are going to have to start. You know what? You two are going to have to start doing your hairs different. As your captain, I demand one of you shaves bald. And I prefer it not be you, Felix. Because you will go from a 10 to a 7 right away, man. Right away. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Ellie's like, what the fudge? I don't want to go bald. Ellie? You know nobody's judging you on your looks, Elle. <laughs> but we are judging Felix on his looks harshly. You know what that means, Felix? No gaining weight either. No. <laughs> Get running. But no, the reason I am going around and stuff is because on the other area, or in the other area, I should say, there were hidden little treasure chests and things. Uh-oh, I hear creatures. Little sprats. See, I think sprats are cute, you guys. Little sprat is like a rat uh, mixed with something else. I don't know why, but it just reminds me of my little dog. But I hate killing sprats in this game. They're cute. Look. Oh my god. Look, it's so cute. I want a sprat. I want a sprat companion. Oh, he left. Oh, I scared him. No. Oh, I scared his little butt. Well, that's what I get. All right, let's go find some real enemies, not the local wildlife. <laughs> oh, sorry. crazy birds or something. Oh, before I leave though, there was a terminal up there. Oh, and vending machines? Nice. If you need to sell stuff or whatnot, that's what that's for. Cool. All right, let me go back up to that terminal real quick. A, a drink? Purple berry punch? I'll take it. Is it alcoholic though? All right, let's go, let's go. All right, let's see here. That's it. 
Argo's traffic system status is operational and insert the captain's identification cartridge to initiate a remote landing. Oh, we can't do that. All right. Ellie, are you jamming? Oh, I thought you were dancing for a bit there. Just like <laughs> glitching through the floor. Okay. Felix, before we leave, I want you to dig out this tree and stow it on the ship because it's really nice. <laughs> it's really nice looking. I want to take this tree with me. All right, let's go. Let's go. Something More cool birds. That armor. Where? Oh, good eye. I didn't even see this dude. I was too busy with my eyes in the sky. Oh, look, birds. And I keep going. That's why we need third person in this game. I could have seen that dead body and the birds. All right, so something chewed through this dude's armor. What if we go into town and everybody's dead? Oof. Oh, I'm taking his blade. You know, a dead person don't need his blade anymore. <laughs> dead person ain't gonna use that weapon. All right. Yes, I do love looking around in games. But the only problem is that if you don't got third person, you can only look in one direction. If you do have third person, you can still see your character on the floor sometimes. Most of the time. Oh, what's that? What's that? Looks like two robots making love. I just had to test it out. Alright. Oh, somebody got evicted. Oh, damn. Take their stuff. <laughs> evicted people don't need their stuff either. Uh oh. Oh, God. Alright, slow motion time, because I'm scared. Oh no, his spit! Don't get shot by the saliva. Oh shoot, is there somebody? Oh, okay. Oh, watch out, Ellie, watch out! Oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, hold on, you two. Wait, wait, wait. Let me choose my weapon. I'm gonna get my light machine gun out. Alright, here we go, here we go. Ready? Hammer him, hammer him! Oh, he's dead, he's dead. Sorry. <laughs> Little overkill there. Are you okay? No, no less than 10, 10, 10, bits. No. This bot's trying us to get out of the road, or trying to tell us to get out of the road. Yes? Do you say something, bot? Hello? Dude, everybody got killed. Well, a lot of peeps right here. Hmm. I'll take that. Ooh, heavy ammo. That too. I'll take that. A ring? Well, mine now. Yoink. <laughs> hey, what's up, Venom? Good to see you. Venom in the house. Welcome in. D -d -d -delays in loading. Oops. Will be from all staff pay. How are you doing? Happy Wednesday, dude. Welcome, welcome. We got we barely got to our next area. Um, we still haven't like technically I don't think we're on the main quest just yet, but we did technically get off groundbreaker, so we did what I said we were gonna do. <laughs> Commander Seffler says, what does Bob Marley put on his toast? It's jam, man. <laughs> jam, man. It's jamming. It's jamming. Okay. Alright, well, we've seen who is lurking around. Raptodons. And I haven't seen these creatures yet, but they're called something sores. Mantasaurs, right? Oh, there's a scientist under him? What? Headless scientist right here. And then there's that creature's body. He's got some weapon parts on him too. Hello, Funnel Cake, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Funnel Cake in the house, fellow caster on Twitch. Hello, hello. Happy Wednesday, how's it going, you guys? Oh, you just woke up, good morning. I got about an hour left, so. After that, I'll be going to bed. <sighs> Passing out. What are you doing up so early, Venom? 
Hope you got some delicious coffee. Dude, like I said, man, I am itching for a battle, you guys. I didn't really look at those. I hope that was in a new mod that I just picked up, like when I'm not seeing before. Alright, go back to snipes. Just gonna look around the area really quick. Aha, see? Hidden treasure. Heavy ammo. Lockpick and some money. 50 cartridges. Or 50 bitties, I should say. Doing good, funnel cake? Nice. Are you up early or are you staying up late? Up early or up late? What are you guys up to? Playing games? Hanging out? Chilling? Oh, I'm enjoying it, funnel. This last stream, though, um, there was a lot of talking. Like, not a lot of talking, but a lot of, like, story-based, um, go do this, go talk to that person type questing. And so, man, now that we're finally back on an area where we can explore outside, I'm like, yeah, yeah, let's go get some kills. I guess technically we could have raided the the downstairs basement of the, uh, the space station that we were at, but I didn't want to do that because I had just persuaded that guy um, to let me just walk through without killing anybody. <laughs> so we got on his good side. So I can't, you know, go and kill him now that we're on his good side. Or well, I guess we could, but... Oh, you're working, Funnel? I hope work goes by quickly. I know, dude. I'm like, dude, it's early, Venom. Can't believe you're up so early. Yeah, awesome high school picture, though. I do. I like your hair, the curly hair. I feel you. Hey, look at this. Ooh, purple berry liqueur. We found out today too that Parvati actually is, you're not gonna believe this, but she's actually either bisexual or she's a lesbian. Uh, and the reason for that is that she's fallen in love with the Groundbreaker, that space station area. She's fallen in love with the Groundbreaker's captain, Jun Lei. I'm like, what? And then we got to take Parvati out to the bar. We had some drinks. I gave her whiskey and then I gave her a beer. So she got really, really drunk and she told us, oh, captain, I love Jun Lei. She's an amazing person. And so I basically told her, believe in yourself, Parvati. Believe in the you that believes in you. Believe in the me that believes in you. Ruined that quote right there. Quote ruining 101. But yeah, it's a good game though. I definitely, definitely recommend it. And I, I believe I'm still pretty early. We've only made like one super, super major decision. Which, uh... The space date or our little ship over there, it is able to tell us updates on the places that we've helped and stuff. So for Edgewater, the place that we helped, um, I asked the ship about an update. I asked Ada. She said that they're doing good, that the cannery is at a surplus. The people there are uh, making profit and stuff. So that's good. Because before that place was... A treasure. Taking that. <laughs> right, but uh, girls are just pretty to not like, right? See, I still don't know. Sometimes I'll go up to a treasure and I feel like there's something in it, but when I go up to it, it's empty. So I don't know if the thing, the game auto grabs it for you, but maybe. But yeah, that was crazy though. It, it makes sense. Although Parvati did tell us She's like, hey, look, I'm not into physical stuff. People have called her cold and all that. I'm like, oh, I feel you, Parvati. And I told her the same thing about me. I was like, yeah, they called me cold too. But it made her feel worse. So I'm like, oops, they probably answered her wrong. Oh, Marauders. Oh my God, I almost walked into that. All right. Y'all ready for battle? Where are you guys? Oh, there you are. You guys ready for battle? We're gonna have to get them some new weapons because I just, oh God, oh God. Oh, come on, that old crab. How dare he move? I was, I just had a good shot on him too. Oh, oh, somebody got me good. Oh, it's the creature. Oh, hey, all no. All right, here's that. Got him, boss. All right, where are they at, where are they at? Oh, that's one, that's one. 
Alright, we're just gonna run, we're just gonna run. There, oh! Let me get in on that too. Oh, crap! Oh, he exploded. Whoops. Dude, for a second I thought that was me getting killed. That slow motion cam though. <laughs> or fast motion cam, I should say. Dude, where did his body go? It just like slid and flew somewhere. Dead body, where are you? <laughs> ah, it's lost. Well, GG on that battle. <laughs> this game is out of this world. It's out of this world. Ooh. Oops, got stuck right there. I love these weird fluffy flowers. But I would not smell them because they look like the type that would go up your nose and then you'd be like, oh, I can't breathe. Boink. Did all the bodies disappear? Oh, maybe it was. Who did I give? Did I give one of you guys a grenade launcher? It was you, wasn't it? Ellie? That was my fault. <laughs> She's like, hey, you're the one that gave it to me. Yeah, true, true, true. I did. They have those giant things just like Fallout. Fallout has a weird saw that kind of looks like this. Uh, Fallout 76, if you go into the, uh, gosh, what is that area called? The Great Ash area? Yeah. Am I wrong for look? Hold on, this Felix. Awful machine of destruction and thinking, Felix, you should hijack that? No, because I low key was thinking we should hijack it too. Where are you at, Felix? Oh, there you are. Yeah, I think we should hijack it, too. Turn on this machine and start sawing. <laughs> sawing everyone! Ash heap, thank you, Funnel Cake. The ash heap area. Alright, I can take it. They have those weird saws and stuff. Alright, here we go. We're doing this! Oh, oh, we scared him! Nice! Yeah, yeah, get him! Snipe his ass, everybody! Oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, here comes somebody with the- Oh god, oh god, I am hurt, I am hurt! Um, I don't know, give me, give me a few minutes to think about it. Oh crap, I died! Damn it! I forgot how to heal, I think it's, it's left thumper, isn't it? Damn. Oh, our first death of the day, you guys. And it was our third battle, no. Well, we done croaked on that one. Which one, Venom? The sniper or the uh, light machine gun? I like the light machine gun because it uses light ammo. Heavy machine gun uses that heavy ammunition, which isn't too bad. <laughs> ash heap. <laughs> no, the ash heap. Ash heap also is where they have those amazing houses. Like those, I don't know, the weird, the mine, the head of the miners companies, like Hornwright and, gosh, I can't remember the names of the other ones, but they made these big old massive, like condominiums or I don't know, they had houses that were elevated so that you go way up and you have a big ass house. Way at the top, you can see everything, you have a nice view. Alright, let me see. How bad was it, everyone? We have to go back a few years. Because I haven't saved the game in a bit. Nice and easy. Me. Now I'm a little backwards. Alright, well, you know what? Let's start heading towards our destination. I'll do a little more exploring later. <laughs> I learned my lesson. Well, actually, no, I haven't. Let's go back. I never learned my lesson. Yeah. Oh, the light machine gun? I like it too. My favorite part of it is that it does use that light ammo. Because heavy ammo is a little bit more expensive to buy and it's harder to come by too. I've been waiting for this! Oh, fuzz! All right, they're back. Okay. Oh, come on, I missed that shot. Dang it. Don't tell me I'm hitting the rock, am I? Probably am. Oh, maybe it's their armor. Yeah, I think I'm too weak. I haven't upgraded my weapons in quite a while, so it could be me. Oh, we're both reloading. Oh, he's faster though. Damn him. Okay. 
There's one more dude over here. He's hiding, I'm hiding. <laughs> We're both gonna do a little peeking thing. Peek and I'll peek. Do I have grenades in this game? Man, I thought we had him there. Well, it wasn't a headshot though, so. That's, okay, good. <laughs> what were you guys doing? They're all passed out. Well, I don't blame you. I went down on the first battle too, so. Shh, we won't talk about it, Ellie and Felix. <laughs> I, that happened to me as well. I know, it's shameful and embarrassing. It's okay. All right, now we get the goods. Take the goods. It reminds you of Space Green. Space Marine from Dawn of War. This fresh air is making my nose itch. You don't like this fresh air, Ellie? Well, here, stand under this red light, and I'm sure you'll get a little bit of radiation. We all know. Oh, Jesus! Woo! Watch out, there's landmines! <laughs> I'll say it all late. Whoa, slow down time, landmines. Some trippy landmines here. Since our time is slow. Oh, press the wrong button. There we are. What's this? Abandoned data pad. To whom it may concern. I've been an Auntie Cleo man my whole life. When I got promoted to the Roseway deforestation team, I felt privileged and honored. I believe Auntie Cleo was going to tame the wild landscape and pave it Pave it over with civilization. Better than nature. That's your motto. I wanted to be a part of that initiative. I wanted to see Roseway become an object of envy among corporate outposts. I wanted to wave our quarterly reports in front of every spacer's choice worker I've ever known and laugh in their face. I worked from dawn till dusk without a word of complaint. Now you have me working on building walls around the town? We've given up on expansion and half the town's already been relocated? Worst of all, the deforestation team has been disbanded, and my equipment is left to rust in the landscape. I am outraged. I am goddamn furious. If you're reading this, then you found my letter of resignation. I would rather make my own way as an outcast, living outside the law, than working under these feral conditions. A.H. Interesting. Those are the same initials as Alex Hawthorne. Although I'm going to go on a limb and say maybe that's not the same A.H. that we know. <laughs> Probably a different A.H. But interesting nonetheless, apparently they were making people work under terrible conditions. And then eventually they did say that Anticleos abandoned this outpost. Everybody became marauders and whatnot. <laughs> that guy took off, he's like, F that! Get out of the way, Ellie! Oh my god! Ellie, are you going to be the new Lydia? Somebody better killed that thing or I'm gonna be really mad. Get out of the way. Oh, shoes. Oh my god, I pressed the wrong button. Woo! All right, time to get that, that machine gun. Go to town with it. Down they go. All right, where's that other guy at? All right, I'm going in. All right, sweet, sweet, sweet. The other person is over there somewhere. Nice. Get her, get her, get him, get him. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the last of him. Good. Good job, everybody. Uh-oh. Got a flaw. Spacer's Choice found a flaw in us. Xenophobia or Sinophobia. Mauled too many times by canids. You get the jitters every time the one's attacking, making you less effective. We would get phobic dexterity, perception, and temperament. Oh man! Anytime a stupid canid is attacking us. So the thing with flaws in this game is, what a flaw is in Outer World is it will offer you, like once something happens, like you get attacked too many times by the canids, or you step in some fire and they say, oh, you've burnt yourself a little bit, now you have a, a little issue. Um, basically the game finds a flaw in your character and it gives you options 
So just get rid of the flaw part and think of it as the game gives you a few options, but they're negative points. And you trade those in in order to get one perk point, that reward right there. So perks are those things that are, they can either, they can boost certain stats and stuff. So basically what they want you to do is if you want that perk, you have to take those effects there. So I would get minus one on dexterity, perception, and temperament when canids are around and stuff, but I would have that perk point. And I'm assuming I wouldn't have to deal with those negatives when there weren't any canids around. So that one I kind of like, to be honest. Hmm. I might take that one. Well, no, I kind of want to take that one, but at the same time... You know what? Fine. We're going to have one flaw. Let's do it at least. Let's try it. We got a flaw, escapees. So anytime like a canid is around, we're going to be like minus one perception, minus one temperament, minus one dexterity. But I think as soon as we kill it, we bump back up. Hopefully. If not, then we just negative a whole bunch of points for one point here. <laughs> Which is sad. No, I'm kidding. Not too bad. Okay. Speaking of that, we also unlocked a new tier, so we got tier 2. Let me see what they are. Reduce penalties to accuracy when you're moving. Gain some tactical time dilation meter when you kill an enemy. Maybe. Increase damage de dealt by science weapons. Well, I don't have a science weapon just yet. Increase your movement and action speed. Oh, that's cool. So TTD is like our vats, right? slows down time, but it increases our movement speed. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, thank you, Dizzy. Hey, thank you for the biddies. Woo! Welcome back. Oh, I know what happened, dude. Toxic gaming sesh. Biddies love, biddies hype for Dizzy plays. Oh, well, thank you for coming back, though. High risk, high reward, huh? Right, Venom? I hope I made the right choice. No. Dawn of War, I wonder what kind of game that is too. <laughs> the ass heap. Imagine a heap of asses just all around. <laughs> oh gosh. But what happened, Dizzy? What was going on that was all toxic? Oh, okay, so while we're doing our vats, we can move a little bit faster. That's kind of cool. You know me, sometimes I freak out and I press the vats instead of the healing button. Well, we could press vats and then heal. Although the healing goes in slow motion too. Which is sad. Uh, increase the range at which all interactable objects around you highlight. Oh yeah, I've done that already with one of these. I think, right? Maybe I haven't. Hmm. Oh, okay, it's, we're allowed to look at the tiers even though we can't access them yet. Cool. Maybe I just read that one last time. Snake oil salesman, soliloquy. Ah, oh, if we have no companions in our party, we can have 10 dialogue skills. <laughs> That's messed up because then we wouldn't be able to carry anybody around with us. Pack of pack mules. Oh, that's kind of cool. Increase the carrying capacity bonus from your companions. Oh, I'm going to get this one, you guys. Since we got two companions, we'll get 40 extra pounds. Weight of consumables. Oh, I like that. Restore health when you kill an enemy. That's nice. Companion ability tools. Reset a companion ability cooldown. You know what? I should check into those companion abilities. I actually don't know what they're talking about with that. I'm getting this extra... Yeah. Getting extra carrying weight. Hell yeah. Alright, we got that flaw, you guys. Ooh, we're flawed. But anytime we see a weird canid creature, we better run. Yo, we just have to shoot them. <laughs> oh, Call of Duty? Yes. Oh, God. That's why, you know what, Dizzy? I used to, believe it or not, when I streamed, like, no Call of Duty, just Halo and Diablo and all those other little RPGs and stuff. Before I jumped into Advanced Warfare and all that, I used to have only, like, three rules in the chat. It was, um, and one of them was have fun. So it was two main rules. And uh, 
after Call of Duty, after I started playing Advanced Warfare and Stream and then Black Ops 3 and all that, dude, I had to put so many rules up. <laughs> Mostly though during Advanced Warfare. Like, people are so effing rude, dude. You know me, sometimes I just don't want to hear it. I'm like, alright, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough of that, I'm getting that person out of here. Sometimes you'll start off really, really nice with somebody. I mean, I guess this is anywhere, but like in Call of Duty, um, there used to be people, you know, that come and chat. We're all cool with each other and stuff. But as soon as I said, you know, like, oh, I don't really want a PvP, they, you know, started getting mean and all that. Like, oh, you probably you suck anyways. Ugh, kick your ass, stuff. That's why you don't want a PvP. -er. And I was like, well, duh, you probably can kick my ass. <laughs> That's probably why I don't want a PvP. I just want to play the game and have fun. I'll play against you if I find you multiplayer, but... Yeah, I didn't want to do those PvP missions. Well, you know, I wasn't the best anyway, so I knew what the outcome would be. If they were a really good player, of course I was going to lose. And I'd just be, you know, embarrassed or whatever. I'm like, nah, you'd win anyways. <laughs> oh, Rage 2. Is Rage 2 the other, like, post-apocalyptic type game from Bethesda? I hear there is one that I haven't uh, played or seen yet. I've heard of it, but I have not. Or maybe I have seen it, I just don't remember. Hmm. Alright, so I'm just looking around really quick, you guys, and then we'll get to the main town. It looks so far as if everybody on the outside has either gotten attacked by uh, the local wildlife, the vicious local wildlife, or they are marauders, so they chose to become outcasts and not work for companies anymore. Which we just read somebody's distress note or their little tablet that they left. Uh, saying just that, that they didn't want to work for a company that was working them too hard and then going out of business and stuff. Uh-oh. Oh, oh god! Oh god, oh god! It's a mechanical one, we need an, an electrical weapon. I'm hoping this is an electrical one. It is now. Alright, here we go. Popping some. Get closer. Oh jeez. Alright, my health is okay. I'm hiding, I'm hiding. Okay. Nice! Oh, good work, you guys. Oh, sorry! Oh god, I'm so sorry, Ellie. Are you okay? Where's, your ankle doesn't look too good. Uh-oh. Oh god, I hope they have a hospital. <laughs> We're gonna need a space hospital for this. Oh, I'll be back for you, Ellie, I promise. We're not coming back. Oh! Oh, I'll shoot them back at you. Oh darn, I think I just pushed off the box. This robot ain't very smart. Oh god, yes it is! There he goes. Pump him full of bullets as soon as he rounds this corner over here. Oh gosh. That's a little tough. Do reset him on fire though. Oh gosh. The thing with uh, auto mechanicals in this game is that they are weak to plasma weapons. But I think I gave my plasma weapon over to Parvati. She's still on the ship, so I just have these weapons at the moment. However, now that I think about it, We'll stop this battle and we start changing our equipment. However, didn't I pick up that one lightning rod or something? Yeah, the security blade, it has some lightning on it. And <laughs> the shovel. It is very weak though, true. Level nine. Oh yeah, here we go. I'll take the shock cannon, level seven. All right, here we go. I think this is the one that I have to charge up, right? Yeah. Uh, damn it! Oh, there it is! Oh, jeez! No! I'm about to croak right here. I don't want to die. Oh, there we go! We just press and hold it! There we are, there we are, there we are! Press and hold, press and hold, press and hold! I was using it wrong, you guys. My bad. Oh, yes! That was amazing! 
<laughs> I didn't have to do anything. I just shot at him. Okay, you guys okay? Sorry. <laughs> I was like, doot, 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 doot. No, you press and hold. Cool. I'll take that and I'll take that. Oh. Excellent. <laughs> oh no, cake. So how have you been, cake? Sorry to bother any lurkers. You know, I don't mean to call anybody out of lurk and stuff. You know, sometimes it happens. I'll be watching streams too and somebody asks me a question and, you know, I'll be out of the, the room so I won't hear it. Or I'll just be leaving so I hear part of it and I'm like, oh. But uh, how's your streams going, Funnel? Hopefully very good. Today I was a little bit late, you guys, so I'm sorry for the, the late startup. A bit of a shorter cast too. Uh, I'm still gonna jump off, you know, at 3 a.m. And right now it's 2.24, but hopefully tomorrow we'll be back on time. I went to go see the uh, movie today, The Joker. That's why I was a little bit late. <laughs> Suck my Irish potato. Oh my goodness, dude. <laughs> oh, T-Bank, thank you for the lurk. Hey, welcome in. Thank you, lurkers. I've been okay, kind of absent lately. Oh man, funnel. Yeah, and work and stuff. I feel you. Um, I think yesterday was my last stream in about a week. And so that's why, I, oh man, I'll be honest, you guys, I do still suck at Outer Worlds because I hadn't played it for a week. Oh, that's beautiful, though. Wow. Um, hey, what's the name of this building? <laughs> Antibiotics. Nice. Auntie Cleo sure knows how to brand herself pretty well. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, I feel you too, Funnel. I was uh, absent for about a week from stream. And I hadn't played Outer Worlds because I was saving it for stream too. So I suck, you guys. I know, I'm terrible. I'm getting used to the controls again. I was playing a lot of 76. Oh, wrong drum weapon. Oh, 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 well. Spotted us already. Woo! <laughs> Run! And get to the Any more? Oh, that other one's still alive. Nice. Oh, that's the last of him. You okay, Felix? Hopefully. What does Felix have? I think I gave him the heavy machine gun. So he pretty much has the same weapon as me, but just heavy ammo. You been playing some uh, 76 though, Funnel Cake? That's honestly when I was having a, a tough time with family as well and stuff. And Mom's birthday is tomorrow. She's gonna be 69. Woo! Sexiest number out there. Um, but yeah, I've been having some tough time and stuff too, so I stopped streaming for a bit. And honestly, I was getting in on that double XP weekend on Fallout and just grinding, honestly, just trying to grind as much as I can, sell stuff, and forget about what's going on. But uh, I know I feel bad, you guys. I'm sorry that I didn't stream though. I could have a few of those days for sure, but I just, sometimes you just don't feel it. You know, you don't want to come on stream, or at least I don't, and I don't want to, you know, come on stream and accidentally, like, blow up on somebody right away or something. You know, they come in and say something that I don't like or spoil the game, and I'll get all mad. Nah. I'm like, no, 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 no. Keep that off the stream, fault. <laughs> yeah, huh, same. Just jumped into Fallout, tried to forget everything for a bit. Hello, Vodka, good to see you. No, I haven't seen you first. First hello of the day here. Happy Wednesday, though, you guys. I hope everybody's doing good. Oops! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Shh, nobody saw that. No, I just didn't mess up my own emote. Of course not. Never. Right. Oh, canids, you guys. I just took a flaw where canids are gonna make me a little bit nervous if I fight against them. Oh, I shot him in the foot. Nice. Oh, 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 there he is. Where's the other one? We won't try that again. Nope. Remind me to upgrade my armor next time I get to an armor workstation. I'll take that. So we're in a new area, you guys. This is called... Mm, I've actually forgotten. Oh look, a spaceship. 
<laughs> well, I know we're we're back on Terra 2, right? And this is the Rosewater. So, okay. No, no, I remembered. I remembered. So we're just in an area. Terra 2 is the same planet. It's like Earth 2. Same planet where we were helping people out on Edgewater. But that section was called the Veil. So these planets are not completely open world. <clears throat> we just get these little subsections that we can explore, you know, at different times. So the other section on Terra that we were at was called the Veil, vale, and it had Edgewater and that research facility. And this area that we're on now is this different section, and it's called Rosewater. Right? Roseway, excuse me, Roseway Gardens. But still a small little square, huh, Felix? And uh, what we're doing here is we're investigating a distress signal. It did not look like it ended well. Is the guy was like, no, no. And they were scientists too. A corporate commander and he's dead. So far all the good people around here are dead. The lore around the Roseway is that Auntie Cleo, she was the uh, corporation that was kind of in control here. And somehow they went out of business. They weren't making a profit and stuff. So they went out of business and everybody became marauders. Oh! An ad bot? Weird, I heard a little music jingle. Alright, here we go. There's blood and stuff. And fire. <laughs> There's lava on that door. Hey, Suko! Yo, what up, Suko Blue? Good to see you. Oh, have some fun on Pokesword. You too, thank you for the well wishes. Good to see you, Suko Blue. Here, take some soul gems before you leave. That goes out to everybody, you guys. Soul gems are just the currency that we have in chat. You can use them for... Uh, mostly we use them for giveaways and stuff like that. It's good stuff. You can check how many gems you have with exclamation gems. Just in case. But yeah, well, you know what? Let's see that time. So I did start up like about two hours late, I would think. Yeah, we only got three hours under our belts. Dang it. There's a technician, but is he a bad guy? No. Well, let's go see what happened. Hey, hello, alive the people. What happened here? Runs from the bottom of the lab to the top of the hill, over the garage. Top of the hill's rafted on territory. Sit down. Hmm. I don't need to do it myself. I can stay here if you want. So you'd send someone else on your damn fool mission? I wonder what that mission is. What mission, sir? Oh, sorry, I'm just trying to talk to you. No, we can't talk to him. Hello? I told you, you're staying put. <laughs> you're not listening. We can stop this. Only thing stopping them beasts is high caliber kinetics. <sighs> if we close the vent shaft, we can contain them. Hmm. I don't know, you might want to try to see what the scientist is talking about, technician. You might be on to something. Hello there, fella. Or how the are getting out of the lab. I'm gonna need you to calm down. I am perfectly calm. A portrait of tranquility. <laughs> well, only I can save the day by taking a dumb risk. Oh, jeez. Well, just let him. And if he dies, well, one less scientist. There's plenty of scientist bodies out there. Let him do it. <laughs> I love eavesdropping. All right, anyway, sir, hello. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell me about this place? Huh? Tell me about this place. Tell me. He's like, no. <laughs> All right, how about you? Hello. Mm -hmm. Who's in charge here? Uh -huh. Oh, F it. Let's go to the bar. <laughs> Barkeep knows everything. Hey, boss. Ah, there we go. We Finally. Yeah, you want, to, you want some drinks? Let's get some drinks, Felix. Woo! I don't Hello? think you're supposed to be wandering around. Security's going to tell you to make tracks. I can't you wander to the local bar? Psh. Something for the road, maybe? Well, duh. What do you think I'm in here for, lady? Let's see what you're selling. Annie Cleo makes the then best I'll ask pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. 
then I'll ask her some questions. Oh, look, we got some Rizzo right there. She's got the typical, typical inventory, alcohol, ammo. Did security Surprising that the, the bar tech, bartenders have ammo on them. Uh, no, but why do you want me out of here? I don't really know you. Roseway's supposed to be closed off to visitors. Stands to reason you could be a corporate spy of some sort. Then again, Maybe. there's nothing in my contract that says I can't sell the corporate spies. Your bits are the same as anybody else's. Hmm, many talks in this bar, I see. Sure. Got any questions? Not or like got I got time for customers. some questions. Oh, uh, let's see. <laughs> How do you make money with so few people in town? Ooh, I'm going to be rude. Technically, I'm not in business at all. <gasps> Roseway closed down years ago. Corporate still sends us the occasional shipment of necessities through unofficial back channels. What? Of course, That's if crazy. something goes wrong, like one of our guards drinking himself to an early grave or raptodons running wild, corporate won't acknowledge we ever existed. Hmm. Weird. You ever get tired of selling Can't these products? Do. Any Cleo products satisfy all of our nutritional needs. Well, at least they used to. My folks filled their whole pantry with all sorts of Annie Cleo products. <laughs> These days, we don't get much in the way of variety. Maybe some tripicale pasta or some ketchup if we're lucky. <laughs> ketchup, I hear it's like ketchup. That all over the colony. We eat what we can get, and we don't get much. Oh man, everybody's in like de desperate, dire straits, huh? Why is this place called the 17th Bar? What happened to the 16th and before? I'm so glad Previous. you asked. Some people say the name refers to the 17 rungs in Auntie Cleo's official ladder of corporate advancement. 17 These rungs? These people Jeez. are wrong. Truth is, <laughs> we've been established, closed down, renamed, reestablished, and then reopened a grand total of 17 times in the last 40 years. Hmm. Corporate's still deliberating over a new name. The matter remains hotly contested in committee, but we're expecting a decision within the next five to seven years Exciting, Exciting times. times. We'll get a, a new name for our store. Our new name for our bar in seven years. All right, cool. Well, that's interesting. Huh, see you later. What happened to this guy? Ah, uh, he's okay. Carry on. You as well, sir. <clears throat> Can I rob this woman? Got any doors back here? <laughs> nope. All right, well, that was the bar. Interesting, interesting. Still selling anti-Cleo products, even though they closed down for a bit. Hey, what's up? Good to see you, Bishop. Welcome back. We made it to the next town, Bishop. Let me get you guys the name of this area, for sure. So that I'm not like, oh, this is just the new town. Uh, town is called Roseway? All right. Well, we're in Roseway. Oh, let's go to the Sisty Pit. Sisty Pit. Sisty Pit. Yeah, watch another bar. We go bar hopping. Oh, is it not open? Excuse me. Open up. I demand refreshments. Oh, I better stop that. Oops, guards are looking. Guards eyeballing over here. Oh, and... Carry on, everyone. Carry on. We're just, oops. We're just uh, wondering if that store was open. Ho, ho, ho. Aw, little sprats. I love sprats. Oh, free stuff. Hopefully free. But free now. Oh my god, it was stolen. Well, that guy didn't see. <laughs> what he didn't see, he didn't know. Oh, a scientist with a name and a workbench. Good. Got to repair something. Hello? Ah, outlaws, I assume. Do me <laughs> a favor and let me finish this, will you? And then make it quick, please. <laughs> oh, he thinks we're holding them up. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm not here to kill oh, you. Oh, you aren't with the outlaws? Who are you then? <laughs> He's like, can I finish my work, please, and make it quick? 
Um, hey, I'm here to uh, help. Somebody sent out some kind of distress call. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck? Worse than... Oh my goodness. Of course, because I didn't... Oh, he forgot we were here. I'm stuck, you guys. I'm pressing A, trust me. Hello? Orson? Oh, you're still here. If you haven't already, you might speak to Anton. He can point you in the right direction. That's very rude, Orson. Oh, great. I'm staying here. I'm going to be that annoying person that doesn't leave. Of course, because I didn't... Yeah, he's got a cool helmet, huh? Ooh, kinky suit. Ooh. Orson! We're going to get this solved. I mean, it's, it's, it's really not or never. I'm going to... Uh, <laughs> that corporate armor. Oh, uh, what are you doing? What does it look like? I'm preparing a personal defense device. Or trying to, anyway. A personal defense device? Uh, ooh, we're smart enough to answer this. If you run a wire from your capacitor there, you can bypass that circuit and save a little power. I... Why, yes. <laughs> we're scientists the scientist. Thanks. Yeah. Just kidding. Hmm, that does look pretty lethal. Certainly not. But Porter and I, his I haven't even seen are busy it. with the outlaws, and Anton's busy holding his head in his hands. Seems as good a time as any to get a bit of work done. True. Uh, no. Uh, well, yes. Well... Uh, no, perhaps. Perhaps. I have schematics that means, yes. in a storage facility. Ugh. As far as I know, the security commander oh, hasn't no, found please, them please, yet. Please. I admit I'd feel better where they returned okay. to me. Okay, okay. I almost closed out my damn tab over here because I moved. There we go. Excellent. Alrighty. Um. Okay. Let me see. Other schematics in the storage facility. As far as I know, the security commander hasn't found them yet. I admit I'd feel better were they returned to me. So he wants us to get his schematics. Mm, I care to elaborate I on found this first? An advanced pistol when we moved here, but it's broken. I need those advanced schematics to pistol, modify you say? It to output superheated air. It should quite easily burn through raptid on hides. Nice. Uh, where's the okay, storage facility? Okay. Follow the road. It'll be on the left, past the old lab. Okay, I think we can get it. Say, uh, you wouldn't happen to have a tube of thermal paste on you, would you? <laughs> thermal paste? Nope. Blast. Well, good luck. I hope I see you back here in one piece. Hmm. I did not have any thermal paste on me, but if I find some, I'll come back this way. Cool. Oh, man. Hey, what's up, Bob? Dude, I haven't seen you forever. Bob the Eskimo. Bob, that's, how are you doing, Bob? Happy Wednesday. What time is it? 2.42, Scapies? I might call it an early night. Well, you know, we usually stay until about 3 a.m. But my butt hurts. I know, I need to fix my bed, you guys. I gotta do it by tomorrow or so, because it's a little bit uneven. And not only do I have this blanket that I sit on, I also have another blanket that stays underneath my main blanket so that it's, you know, not always dented like that. Oof, and I think it adjusted because it's like really pointy on one of my butt cheeks now. <laughs> Too much information, but that's why I'm, I'm moving a lot lately. I don't like it either because now it's making me a little uncomfortable. So. Like right now I'm sitting with my leg a little bit folded backwards at the moment. Oops. Oh well. Okay, so Mr. Scientist asked us to go find his schematics over there. I know, me too, Dizzy. I'm actually, I'm feeling tired, you guys. Not gonna lie. Have a good night, Dizzy. Uh, if you've not checked out his channel, Escape Beast, he is a fellow caster on Twitch. And, uh, oh, man, Diz, I hope you find, you know, some good news about your sister. And I hope everything, you know, goes well for her. Man. Speaking of that, though, you guys, if you want to check out Diz's uh, Twitter, please feel free to check it out. Uh, he's in Washington State. From what? Oh, you're in Washington, huh, Dizzy? Um... I probably already knew that, knew that, didn't I? But just from the, the phone numbers, the area codes, I'm like, oh yeah, that's Seattle area. True. 
<laughs> Vish is like, it's early here, so 10.45 in the morning. Good morning, Vish. Oh, man. And speaking of Bishop, you guys, he was also streaming. Uh, earlier, he was playing some Red Dead Redemption 2. And, uh, oh, man, what a beautiful game. I miss playing Red Dead. Hello, Burke. How are you? I done had enough of this shit. I'm just the fucking tarmac guard. No one said oh. nothing about fighting no raps. <laughs> I'm just the tarmac guard. Nobody said anything about fighting no raps. Oh god, what happened here? Alarms went off, raps broke loose, and I hightailed it in here to get a wall between me and them beasts. Funny how he's the only guy talking about the carnage that's on, you know, all around the town. There's like dead bodies, dead creatures. Nobody said a word about it besides this dude. Oh, yes! Can you tell me who's in charge? Scientist. Name of Anton Crane. Anton Crane. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. Panicking? Oh, great. Uh, where'd the rafts come from? Um, forget I said anything about that. Berg, I could help. Wish they tasted like Sisty Pig. <laughs> Them's good eating. <laughs> well, that doesn't help me kill them. Jeez. What do they taste like? <laughs> Some say chicken. I say the north end of a southbound woolly cow. Ugh. Anything else you'd like to know? Yeah, where'd you get that big scar? No. All mean. Uh, did you send a distress call? Because I'm here to answer that. Distress call? From here? Shit. They told me that weren't allowed. <laughs> what? Why not? Not me. I just do what I'm told. And I was told not to do such. I was told not to do such. All right, well, I'm just gonna. Well, can I ask you about anything else? Off, raps broke loose. Did you have him caged up? Was that second part? Okay, well, oh, I'm just gonna look around, dude. Forget. Auntie Cleo's makes the best. Oh, he had to do the spiel himself. Better than nature. Not like that crap spacer's choice pedals. <laughs> yeah, down with spacer's choice. Auntie Cleo's all the way. So here's the muscle. He was supposed to be guarding the tarmac, though. I'm assuming the tarmac is that landing pad out there, right? Maybe? Mean old massacre that happened. <laughs> Thank you, Bob. He says, I love America hair. Tales of Viseria? I have not played Tales of Viseria. Um, no, the only ones that I played were Tales of Fantasia on the Game Boy Advance and Tales of Symphonia on the GameCube. I would have loved to play Tales of Vesteria and Vesperia, but I think those ones are um, only on PlayStation, huh? I wish, though, Bob. I like the Tales series a lot. He does, huh? He's got, like, a weird voice. Sounds like of Mice and Men. Shit. <laughs> or not Felix, but uh, Burke over here. Shit. Tactical shotgun, hell yeah. Take all of that. All of that stuff. You know what? Now that you, you got me thinking about that though, Bob, I would love to stream Tales. I played that game, especially the one on the GameCube. I played Fan uh, Symphonia for, oh god, hours and hours and hours. I think the save would tell you how many hours you had been playing. I remember it saying about 200 or so. <laughs> I remember it saying about a lot of games. Or that saying... Oh, I can't even talk right now. I remember seeing a lot of my game saves at 200 hours. So I would spend a lot of time in games. Alright, nothing here. Oh! All fuzz. That guy. He sounded like Samoa Joe from WWE. Samoa Joe! Everybody did tell us to go talk to Anton, so I guess he is the guy in charge. Let's go talk to Anton. That might be the last thing we do tonight, too. He's in the comms communication room. Alright. Dude, I loved Animal Crossing too, Dizzy. Yes, Animal Crossing was amazing. Uh, I remember being there on, like, 4th of July, Halloween, and I, you know, look at all how the how our little town changed and things like that. Oh, I loved Animal Crossing. Um, 
And then I figured out that you could change, not change your face, but you would get a different random face every time you played. So if you didn't play, or if you didn't get, or if I didn't get that random face that I wanted the first time, I would restart my character and, until I got the, the circle eyeball girl with the cool hair. Yeah, I miss Animal Crossing a lot. <laughs> it was a good game, you guys. It had real time, you know, events and things like that. Very advanced for its age. Or very advanced for that year. Right, just seeing, just seeing. Just checking. That guy's like, why did that lady go and check all my boxes? None of your business, Anton. So, Mr. Crane, I heard. Can I see what you're working on? These are the tablets of the future escapees. Instead of having only a screen and a touch screen, we're going to add buttons. Yeah. It's like, but isn't that going backwards? No, it's the future. If you've come to end my life, let's be on with it. Oh, not actually. <laughs> he thought we were a marauder too. Oh, geez. No, I'm good. You must be Anton Crane. Remember, he's the nervous guy. I must apologize if my call diverted you. I, uh, oh, he was the guy on the call. Everything's under control now, though, truth be told. <laughs> Anton! So he did the distress call when those creatures got out, I'm assuming, and they caused havoc. Under control! So he's the guy that called us. Hmm. Standard operating procedure for suits, boss. They're all a bunch of cowards. <laughs> Felix! Well... <laughs> and generally up to no good. <laughs> Tell me what happened. Well, who knows? I'm not at liberty to discuss the nature of the work I'm doing here. Mm, Suffice secretive. it to say that its importance to me, uh, to the colony, is immeasurable. Mm. The colony? You had a little Freudian slip right there. Working by yourself, are More we? Than not. Seems I'm the only one who sees the opportunity here. That was a good one, too, uh, Venom. Super Mario Sunshine. I played Super Mario Galaxy as well. That was on the Wii, wasn't it? Yeah. That one was a good one, too. Also played Sonic Rings on the Wii. I did not like that. I much preferred Sonic Adventure 2 and 1 on the GameCube as well. Even though those originally were on the Sega Dreamcast, I heard. I didn't know that. Uh, well, I didn't know that at the time that I played on GameCube. Okay, so we just told Anton that, oh, you're working alone? And what's the opportunity you see a here? to the good life once my research plays out. Byzantium. Recognition, money, proper facilities. No more uninspired dolts like my associates oh. here. It's messed up. Oh, they're fine, Anton. <laughs> With all that at stake, I think you'd be begging for someone, anyone's help. I think I'll be going. Have fun working with the uninspired dolts. Should I be rude? Oh, I'll give him a little taste of his medicine. No, please. Ah. Hold a moment. Got him. Our security forces have proven themselves to be quite worthless. <laughs> you seem someone not averse to risking your life if the pay were right. Might True. I interest you in an arrangement of sorts? What kind of arrangement, Anton? I'm listening. Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us, shot up our labs, and loosed our research subjects, the Raptodons. Oh, if those cretins they get were their doing hands research, research on those creatures. Well. They'll need not kill me. Hmm. <laughs> Those cretins get their hands on my research while they need not kill me. I'm, get, I'm assuming he's going to do it himself. Oof. Oh, we can persuade him? Hell yeah. If you tell me what you're researching, I'd have a better idea what's at stake here. Yeah. You have a point there. It most decidedly cannot make this situation any worse. All yeah, right. who am I going to tell, I'm Anton? Come on. Formulating a new and improved dental gel. New and improved dental gel? Oh, come on. This is about toothpaste. One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. May I so they lost like half the town in order to make this fancy toothpaste. Okay, fine. While doing research on enzymes specific to the Raptodon's digestive system, we <laughs> developed an additive which we subsequently discovered to be the most effective appetite suppressant Oh, ever. now you got my... Got my attention. Appetite suppressant toothpaste. 
I will take five of those right now immediately. <laughs> Dude, appetite suppressant toothpaste. Now I'm down for an idea like that. Well, di whoa, whoa, whoa. that's me personally, though. How many? I haven't seen too many fat people in this game, though. <laughs> I don't think they need appetite suppressant. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold on. Back it up just a little bit. Aren't we like all, or everybody here, in the, everybody on the game that we've talked to so far, aren't they all like complaining of, oh, we don't have enough food, we barely have enough to eat, we can't afford medicine, blah, 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 blah. Why the hell would you want to suppress your appetite? Well, 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 makes sense, maybe. So if you do suppress your appetite, you're not hungry as much. So they're, okay, okay, I gotta take myself out of it. They're not using that toothpaste for weight loss. They're using it to suppress their appetite so they don't have to eat as much because there's a food shortage. Okay, 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 okay. Ah, I see it's more noble. I see it's more noble. Diet toothpaste. All right, let me Not see Not just here. any diet toothpaste. The ultimate diet ultimate toothpaste. toothpaste. But if it is for weight loss, though, then I do want some of that, Anton. <laughs> Going back to what we were talking about. Not worth your life, I would say. Oh, I'm certain it could be made into that as well, with only a few changes to its molecular composition. But you're <laughs> missing the point. Ultimate fuel. Let's focus for a moment, shall we? Even if you disregard the obvious value of Auntie Cleo's Apazap diet toothpaste in and of itself, we're talking about my career here as well. Oh yes, I forgot about the man behind it. Apazap. <laughs> they called it the Apazap. Toothpaste. I'll remove the cretins and retrieve your research. Nice, is it not? Came up with that myself. It's a shame our marketing department is almost as befuddled as my co-workers here. <laughs> Anton. Look, happened on the slogan writers over there. All right, I'll help them out. Yes, but don't kill their mother if it's avoidable. We've need <gasps> of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere that can be used to put them out. Oh jeez, we gotta gas the these animals. Is in the safe in my office. You'll have need of my code and key card. The Hand lab's over. entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's original by the grand architect. Jameson. He's in the old lab. Hmm. Jameson, who's that? My protege. I sent him to retrieve some metabolic precursors, and I forgot him. Anton! Well, he's probably dead, poor Jameson. No. Oh. Well, it does sound like it was chaos, though. <laughs> you left him to die. Be ashamed of yourself. Now I'll be, I'll be cool. You don't understand. He was my okay, responsibility. Fine, fine, fine. All of the people stationed here were, ah, regardless of their thinking on the matter. If he has died, too many have been lost. Too many black marks against my name. And far too much paperwork. Yes, <laughs> and all you care about is how it affects you. Oof. Well, I'm gonna, yeah, because all of the rest of them are in leave conversation. <laughs> I don't like you much, but I'll look into this further. <laughs> I'll thank you not to mistake my ambition for callousness. <laughs> what should I mistake it for then, Anton? Compassion? If my colleagues refuse to take their lives seriously, why should I? All they do is complain. They refuse to see the opportunity afforded us here. Oh, they're probably all tired and overworked too, Anton. I <laughs> just wanted to hear you admit that you're a heartless bastard. Thanks. You can see why people might think you're callous though, right? <laughs> just keep poking him. I understand I can come off as manipulative and ego-driven. It's <laughs> Whoa. something I've always been forced to contend with. Oh, poor Anton. Victim. Manipulative victim. Well, I guess I'll just have to take your word. And Thank my you. my colleague, Jameson, will you find him for me? Yes, or what's left of him. <laughs> well, we'll try. <laughs> Rescue Jameson up there. By his bootstraps. All right, Felix. All right, Ellie. What do you guys think of this scientist? We can talk outside. Excuse me, sir. How do I leave? Oh, there we are. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, where's the entrance? Damn it. All right, you there and you there. What do you guys have to say Something about this? Something on your mind? Uh, 
okay, she's got nothing, no opinion. But you, Felix, where'd you go? There you are. Yeah, boss. Uh, all right, nothing for him either. Good. <laughs> What's left of him? I know he's like, oh yeah, go find my colleague that I left after that massacre occurred. Oh, look, people, everything's dead out here. The canids are dead. Canids, we got a, a dead guard. Another canid. There's a dead scientist. Another dead scientist. Another dead guard. These guys have fat armor too. Thick armor. Ooh. Can take that armor, by the way. But yeah. So I'm assuming, you know, th things got pretty crazy. I don't know if Jameson's even alive. All right, escapees. Well, it's about 3.01. And I'll admit, I have like a little teeny headache going on too. So I think it should be about time that we call it. I'll do a fresh save too. So we did technically get off the groundbreaker, which is good. Uh, we met up with the fence lady, Gladys. She gave us two. Well, we bought one from her. And... Uh, That's right, huh? Oh, okay. So yeah, we bought a nav card from her to go get this special fancy science weapon. And then she sent us on this distress signal quest. Um, and we're supposed to go back to her and then she'll give us the nav key so that we can get off and go over to Scylla, I think, and continue the main, main quest. So this is just another little side quest that we got to do before we can access the main quest again. Or technically, we could fork over 10,000 bits which I think I have, let me see how much money we got. Oh, it's up there on the top left. So I do technically have 11,000 bits, 11,103, but I don't really want to spend them all at once. So I rather do this side quest here. Yay. Cool, you guys. I'm <laughs> watching that guy in his armor. Yeah, shake that booty. Shake it fast, but watch yourself. Shake it fast. Show me what you're working with. All right. So anyways, we saved it a couple of seconds ago. All right, Scapees, dude, thank you for hanging out, you guys. We had a good stream. We had, it was a lot of talking missions in the beginning, but finally, oh, I'm so glad to get out into the open again, do a little shooting and killing, because while I do love story-driven games and stuff, um, I'll admit, even I get just a teeny, teeny bit, just a little bored of you know, running around and talking to different people. While I do, you know, like and I do love listening to all the characters talk and all that, there are parts and there are times where I'm like, all right, now I'm ready to go and kill some enemies and stuff. Let's get some, you know, get some action, practice our aim and things like that. But we did good, escapees. We got off with the Groundbreaker. We still have to go back to the Groundbreaker and get the real nav key. But hey, we're back on Terra too. We're doing a few quests there. We had to help out, well, that distress signal and stuff. We got to help out that side scientist and then take out that canid uh, group of animals that apparently got loose somehow so so that, that guy can make his diet toothpaste oh my goodness <laughs> but yeah then I don't know oh yeah it is black veil bride you saw my shirt Diz? yes black veil brides had this shirt for way too long I uh, used to wear this shirt when I was a lot thinner, so I do got to stretch it out sometimes. <laughs> Thank you, Tigden. Hey, it's good to have you here. Thank you for the lurks. You guys rock. I appreciate it. Woo! And once again, I am sorry that I was a bit late, too, because I think we only made it to, like, three hours, didn't we? Oh, almost four hours. Well, that okay. I should be back tomorrow or later, technically. Around 9 p.m., I'm gonna try to hit the, the mark. Yeah, see? Yes! Uh, Animal Crossing Wild World. Oof, that was a good game, too. Alright, just check in really quick. Bishop, thank you for being here, too. Yeah, let's give a round of applause to our fellow casters. Uh, we do got Dizzy. Thank you for being here, Diz. You made it to the end. Woo! Same for Bishop. You too, Bishop. Thank you for being here. You made it to the end. Woo! Iron Milksteak was our beloved moderator. He's amazing, you guys. 
If he was a streamer, I would be shouting him out left and right as well. And we had a whole bunch of awesome casters. Um, you know what? I think it's a good day to shout out the hosters today. So all casters out there watching the stream, if you ever want to check to see who's hosting your stream while you're live and you don't want to use the little list that Twitch gives you because that list keeps refreshing and stuff, feel free to check it out over here on the uh, host check. Alright, soul underscore 3 SC4 P3 right there cool. oh my goodness you guys thank you so much we got 90 hosters Woo! So i'm gonna shout them out one by one but i'm also gonna do something special <laughs> um i'm gonna run some ads too i know so if you're already subscribed and you know if you don't want to stick around for that completely understand but we didn't have a bathroom break so i'm like you know what let's run a little ad here ad break ad break Is that you lady hello lady but Surprise you're still awake, lady. Alright, just a short ad, we'll go one minute. Uno minuto escapees. Alright, there it goes. I think it's going right. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> it said commercial break failed. I was like, hey. Well thank you guys, thank you for being here. Everybody, let's give some shout out to the 90 hosters today. We got Drasselide, Abnormal Synapse, King's Horizon, Lightning 132HOH, Misery Cord, A Presmoy 21, But Light Wolf Peter, Golden F, Maggot Boy 420, Spike 752, Mitchell P, Albi Token, Jade's Place, Dropping Turds, Dragon Phoenix, Game Chef Live, Knife Party Hard, Vortical, Void Chi, Rectangle, Sugar Bombs, The Sugar, oh, excuse me, Purple Hearted Unicorn. Doc Savage DR, U Tree 101, Doc Main Indeed, Vandals 404, 50 Shades of Paint, Google's 88, Blue, uh, Go Blue LA 99, Bearded Hostility, Midnight Fang X, Sinless Goody, Tank Chick 7767, and Tropic J. Hi, I'm Steven, Monk of Kronk, uh, TQ Void, Bishop 85, Andy Scores Live, thank you, Bishop, Andy Scores Live, Buya Mofo, Nuka with the two A's. Corrupt Nashti, Grey Stars, Moan Plays, Irish Trekkie, Elda Play, The Bearded Spider, Dr. Dregs, Sora Roxas 2, Fiddle 793, Mojo Jojo 19 Kilo, Outlandish Wolf, Siski 76, Princess Chodfather, Arg, Pirate, Bella Hikari, Helios Ares, Vessi Gaming, Evil Lip Smacker, Wretched Dreams, Buddha Man X, Sparky TV 111, Green Leader 87, Metal Dude Phil, your host Cormlock, Guts Lion Court, Crimson Rain 156, Laven Me Monkey, Let's Dream, Hilarious Donkey, 76 Trombone, Cerebro Policy, Sir Remethy, Watery Rabbit, Savage Lionheart, Rainbow Kremlin, Shadow Clone 2476. Or excuse me, 2468. Where'd the 76 come from? <laughs> Maybe I was thinking of 76 trombones or Siski 76. Uh, anyways, Shadow Clone 2468, Shady Days, Jesse 142, Indecisive, Mega Cat Army, UBCS Mercenary, Mini Tick, Mr. Mega Genesis, Captain Dab Beard, J Bear 12, Nimmy, Nimrod 5885, Jill Claire X, 45th Venom right there. Thank you, Venom. And last but not least, Simo Plays. Thank you guys for the host. Once again, there's 90 of them. That was huge. Big ol' host escape. If you made it through the commercial break, woo, welcome back. Uh, feel free to stick around for the raids. Yeah, HD, hilarious donkey. Thank you, lurkers. I'm actually spying on lurkers. And Funnel Cake, she was here too, you guys. I seen you in the... Thank you for the lurk funnel. I have not been checking my viewer list in like ages, you guys. I'm going to start doing that again. Because believe it or not, sometimes you will catch some of the, uh, like, the most surprising people in the viewer list. There was times where we caught people that were banned. 
<laughs> or they're like using an alt account, but it's like really obvious because they've only changed like one or two letters from their previous name. But I hadn't been checking in like months, you guys. I kind of just stopped looking and stuff. But yeah, it's pretty cool, Bishop, every now and then just spying on the user list, seeing who's there. Of course, not calling anybody out like, hey, lurkers, nothing like that, but just kind of eyeballing to see who's there. Um, here, take some soul gems, you guys. You made it to the end, so I appreciate that a lot. I do apologize, you know, it was pretty lore heavy today. Um, while, you know, while I'm really into it and stuff, I realized that if you come into a game like halfway and stuff, it's hard to get into it sometimes because you're like, well, I don't know, you know, I don't know what happened before this. The streamer saw what happened before this, but, you know, I didn't see, so. <laughs> so, I, you know, I understand it can be a little bit hard and stuff to get into. Bye, Venom. Thank you for hanging out, dude. I appreciate the host as well. I think, I'm not sure if I shouted you out yet at the end, Ben. Oh, fuzz. Yeah, bye, Bishop. Hopefully get to see you later, too, if you stream. Like I said, you guys, dude, check him out, Escapees. I could listen to Bishop stream for hours and hours. Like, he has some amazing commentary. <laughs> I love it, dude. I was trying to get some good commentary going on, but I kept, uh, I don't know, I feel a little tired today, too. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow, or technically later on. Let me see if... Because uh, I know Man vs. Game is on. He's on my second lab, or second lab. Uh, second tab over here on the side. <laughs> second lab. Just waiting for it to load. Um, there's a couple. Well, oh yeah, you know what? Okay, uh, let's go ahead. We're gonna raid up Dragon Phoenix. He's got a camera today too. Hell yeah. So Dragon Phoenix is a friend. We see him uh, every now and then in chat. He's really cool. I've I used to see him a lot more frequently when I was playing uh, Fallout 4 and stuff. But I think it's because we kind of stream at night. <laughs> so you know you know how that is escaping. All right, let's go ahead and give Dragon Phoenix a read. Hopefully uh, he enjoys it. If not, well, oops. <laughs> oops, sorry. Now learn to enjoy it. I'm kidding. All right, escapees, thank you once again. If you are feeling like you want to stick with this until the raid, feel free to type this in. You're subscribed. If not, Soul Raid with the Ohio would work too. Oh, yeah, I went and I got banned in Bishop's channel. <laughs> it's a Bishop's uh, stream. When you click on it, it'll pop up the rules like any stream, right? Well, at the very end of Bishop Stream, it says to type Mwah if you read all the rules. And I did, and I think I put too many H's and stuff, and so it counted off as spamming. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> now I know how it feels when people get timed out for caps. And then I got timed out for caps the other day too over at Siski Stream when we raided her. Uh, same thing, you know, I was just doing the soul raid command and oof, I got bumped for five minutes. So I was like, no. But it was all good. I was like, well, I have time to go to the bathroom now, and I'll just come back and say hello in five minutes. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. Yep, I just did the soul raid thing, and I don't. But I thought a couple other people did it. Nobody else got banned. I don't think. Maybe I accidentally pressed it too many times, or I put soul raid like four times. Everyone else did three. Oops. <laughs> but yeah, I got timed out for spamming. I was like, oh, spamming caps. Oh, oh, yes, in your channel earlier today, Bishop, yes, it's because I put the mwah, and uh, I think I put too many H's. Oops. Yeah, it was pretty long, though. It was a long mwah. But I deserved it. <laughs> it was a deserved band right there. All the spams, right? It's revenge. It's revenge, Dizzy, because I have a caps lock on my Nightbot, too. And, but I, I gave it quite a few caps. Uh, But anyways, um, yeah, and you know, some people still come in and they get banned by Nightbot for doing too many caps or too many little symbols, which are just, you know, the periods and the ads and the colons and all that. <laughs> all right, let's, uh, oh yes, and last but not least, I gotta get my own self-promotion here, Scapees. I know, I know, sorry, sorry, but I have to do it. Um, my name is Soul Escape, been streaming for four years, March of 2015. If you'd like, please drop a follow, you guys, become a part of the Escapees today. 
once again, never any pressure, but you can find me at soul underscore escape. Quick Google search will pop up my Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, uh, Discord, Twitch accounts, all that stuff, you guys. Capital S U L underscore three S C four P three S C U L underscore three S C four P three. You can find my Snapchat also open and available. That is Solar Escape. And Lady came up. Hello, Lady. Well, hold on, let me get the props out of the way. <laughs> she jumped up. She's like, oh, what's all this crap here? Props. Yeah. Come on, Lady. You can come over here. You don't have to sit like over in the corner. She's like in the, the very corner edge as if she can't go nowhere. <laughs> you can come over here. Hello. Okay. Let's see how to scream. What are you doing up so early? Mm -hmm. She's like, I'm chilling. What do you think? Okay, let me uh, let me clear a little area for you. I'll just pom poms on this, on that. Okay, now you can go sleep right there. Over here, empty area. Oh, I just saw the camera, you guys. Dude, my hair's fading out, isn't it? Yeah, it's it's definitely not red back there no more. <laughs> that delay though. <laughs> yeah, little lady was here. So you chillin'. So you chillin'. Dizzy, I need you to come dye my hair. <laughs> Make it that blood red that it was before. Yeah, lady, but um, anyways, regardless, you guys, all that stuff is in the links right here. If y'all want to follow, feel free to do so. We got merch and all that stuff. Never any, um, never any pressure though. So just thank you for everything being here. So we're gonna go throw it over to the amazing and the wonderful Golden Dragon or Dragon Phoenix, I should say. And later you're gonna hang out, probably go to sleep a little bit, do it all over again. Tomorrow. All right, let's get the raid command going. Dragon Phoenix, have a good sleep, everybody. Or if you're on the other side of the ocean, have a good rest of your morning, your day, and Bishop Hope work goes by quickly, nice and fast. All right, what's Dragon Phoenix's numbers back there? 98, just gotta make sure. You guys see who really is controlling the stream. It's Lady, it's not me. She's the real streamer. All right, Dragon Phoenix 98, there we go, escapees, yay. Dude, me too, Dizzy. I swear, just like as soon as you start shampooing your hair like regularly with that regular sh uh, shampoo, all of a sudden, all of my red fell out. The blues nicely, you know, stayed in there, but uh, I have to buy more of that special shampoo. I was using that fancy shampoo that cost way too much, to be honest. Even the generic stuff cost about like six or seven bucks for just a little skinny tube and all that. I'm used to buying the big ass shampoo for like $3. <laughs> So that skinny one for six bucks, I'm like, oh, that's expensive. But um, awesome, really good shampoo for your hair, though, if you had colored hair. But anyways, I feel you too, Diz. I got to do my hair again. <laughs> Bye, Bishop, you too. Yeah, same. Thank you. Bye, Tig. See you later, Tickton. <laughs> it was the dog in Silent Hill. Ever onward, ever forward. Peace out, escapee. See you next time. Bye, everybody. I'll miss you. Woo, go raid.